Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hey, everyone. There's so many Hello. people here already. We love it. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, we just oh told, gosh, if you want to listen to our podcast, we love to hate everything. A little cross promotion here. I just told quite the harrowing story. <laughs> I was, I, Jody did not, Jody was like, okay, I guess you can tell that. But I, like, no, but it I turned out to be excited. good. It was worth it, right? That was an insane story. Yeah, you're pretty wild here. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to be messing with my hair the whole time because uh, I dressed up for you guys. Haven't showered today yet. Keep it real. She's got Keep some it real. branding. I'm the you real doll. Yeah, I, I finally got in my Coyote Pass sweatshirt design. It looks really good. It's a great color. It is. And I designed it myself. Is it, it comfy says, uh, or is it like like? Are you gonna be pity? No, I got like the vintagey one, so it's a little thinner. We're not. Yeah. Sure. I mean, we're really not good at like merching. But it says uh, I put. I don't know if you can see it. It's not a pond somewhere on yeah. there. Um, I think you just wanted to show us your boobies. I mean, Hi, you Jen. know me. Jen from Real Housewives Recaps. I love showing my boobs. Hello. We Should went on her light on here. We did a, uh, you look fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we went on her podcast on Thursday, I think, or Friday? Friday. And we yeah. did a little Sex in the City and just like that crossover. So check out her amazing channel. It's great. Also, I wanted to promote... Um, Erica Hensel, one of our uh, one of our longtime listeners, I went on her podcast, the Surreality Podcast. I don't know when the episode is going to drop, but we were talking about Hogan knows best, so check that out. Yeah, <sighs> and I'm going to be going on a date with Dateline with Kimberly, and then Kim from People Are Well Podcast. We are starting to recap the new season of The Amazing Race. The three of us are obsessed. That sounds with it. daunting. Watched- it, it, they're very long episodes. We're going to do it every other week, which actually kind of helps because sometimes the challenges are a little crazy. But God, if you like The Amazing Race uh, on A Date with Dateline, they have it on their Patreon. So check that out. I'm excited. We have a with, cameo uh, ready with to our fill. Um, so okay, what's what's going on here? Oh, you, I do have I have something that I have prepared here, and I think I'm going to have to go share my screen. Okay, so let me just figure okay, this out. Okay. But I was watching Sister Wives. Okay. Yes. Okay, and <laughs> this episode, I I just hadn't. I don't. There's a couple seasons that I just don't watch a lot. Like, uh, and the season I was watching was all around Aspen's wedding. I just didn't oh, find that interesting. Sleeper. Yeah. Right. So, but this scene came up, this one scene came up and I gasped and I don't know why this isn't a more infamous or more talked about scene. Okay. Yeah. We like this background too, Kevin. Thank you. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's like pretty shady. It's just uh, for anyone who's only listening, it's just the picture of the lots, Uh huh. the lots on Coyote Cody's Pens. pond. I'm going to share this right now. Okay. Let's okay. see if I, I was We're trying ready. to figure this out earlier. So hopefully this will be ready. Now. Okay, getting prepared. And here we go. You're gonna love this. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. What's happening here is that they're about they're about to move. Gabe's like annoyed. Gabe's like having like a fucking mental breakdown. Oh, you and don't say. Them, right. Gabe's so all annoyed. Of them, all of them are just teasing Cody right now as he gets his breakfast prepared for him, and that okay. they all want motorcycles once they move to Flagstaff. So that's the context here. Okay. Oh, we can't hear it, just so you know. Oh, you can't hear it? Shit. No. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to get out of this then. And I'm going to just play it off my phone then. I was worried okay. about it. Okay, got it. But I did, I took a nice good uh, uh, video off my off my, com- my camera. Where is it? 
I Great. really love that plant in the back. Thanks. All right, ready here. Why do people not talk about that? That was chilling. And Christine was like, Killed. Christine genuinely was uncomfortable and embarrassed and was like, can we table this conversation? Yeah. And um, she thought it was being funny, but it wasn't. It was, it was, it was a little glimpse behind the curtain of what happens mm -hmm. when the cameras aren't there. Yeah. Also funny because Christine has given birth to six children. So a yeah. four hour stretch after having six kids would be... Oh, I mean, that's vacation to get a four hour stretch. So, oh, I'm yes. sorry. There was one night when you didn't get a full night's sleep. Mm. Awesome. And you got to remember that he doesn't sleep anywhere except a bed. He's not going to sleep on a couch. So he's always oh, been in a no. nice, comfy bed. Mm. Lovely. But he was really trying. Like, I don't know what he thought he was doing. I think he thought he was being funny. But he, the rage like took over a little bit too much and it just got scary. Yeah. And Chris, I've been there too. Like where I've been so embarrassed by my partner that I, you, like you don't know how to react. She was like, can we, can we do this later? Yeah. Can you take over this conversation? Right. Oh my gosh. Any other, yeah. uh, any other brown news coming? Uh, <laughs> brown news. Is what Medicine I had. Like, Hi, people, yeah. Everyone talking about where they're from is amazing. Throw those out there. It's because I bet you there's a lot of people that you guys live close to each other too. Dusseldorf, Germany. Oh, Germany was just in my TikTok algorithm. And they it, you put in your bread and they have like a bread slicing machine that's just like open to the public. Anyone can do it. You get your fresh bread, slice it all up. Uh, Cody is the next Dahmer. Yeah. Ireland. Oh, I want to go to Ed Ireland. Edmonton. Hello, adequate mom. Uh -huh, wow. North of Edmonton, Amanda. I love it. Elmwood, Elmwood Park. Oh, Owl trees. Do you want to come up that's here? That's not too far from me. You guys have a really good. Oh, we have two shots, by the way. Oh yeah. Um, before we start, Elmwood Park. Oh no, I'm thinking somewhere else. But um, yeah, Elmwood Park. That's like not that far away. Oh, a couple okay. Portland. All right, so um, I, I'm doing a fireball again. I my what liquor supplies we are a little low. I'm gonna murder you because you were like, let's do different shots every week. So, I know, but then you said I'm just gonna lie because I don't have money for alcohol. Okay, but then I made all that money yesterday from that fucking extra. Oh my god, I, I didn't even think so about the little shit. bottles. I fucking hate you. That's this, brilliant. This is called. Why like, didn't I think of that? Oh, actually, I'm just I'm doing a um I'm just doing a bananas and cream. I'm going to mix these together. It's going to be fucking disgusting. I'm doing it in honor of Mary. And then you didn't go do it. I was like, I have to do it because Jody's going to be mad at me if I don't get rid of it. I have a theme shot. drink, which I'm going to show you in a second, which is going to be so worth Are you going to do me. the drink or no? Yes, so I have gross. it next to me in my Jewel Osco bag. Okay. So hold on. Okay, you might redeem yourself. But this hold on. I will from now gross. on because I never thought about doing shots with just those little things. Because all the shooter. Like, that's expensive. Like the big bottles of alcohol are expensive well, yeah you just got these little ones jody i never thought about that Amanda. okay all right um <sighs> hair cheddar pie shot oh that sounds like something mary oh, that's because what mary that? has her world famous pear cheddar pie janaya you're in calgary just like amanta <gasps> oh. let's meet up we can do we can drink stuff that isn't this <laughs> Okay. Oh, everyone's um, day drinking with us. Okay, who else this. is day drinking? Let this. us know who else is day drinking. We love it. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, all about game day. I don't. I can't promise I'm gonna actually shoot this. What, what are we gonna? We're gonna cheers to. Um, how about what's? Oh my god, you guys! I'm blanking. What's the name of her thing? Not Vicky's. 
Vicky's Victorian Lizzie's, hideaway. Lizzie's, Lizzie's hair pin. Yes, in honor of Mary and her banana. Vicky's Victoria. I like Vicky's Victoria and Victorian hideaway better. Okay. Um, cheers to Lizzie. Lizzie. Something like that. Cheers okay. to Lizzie. I'm going to do a clink right. here. Oh. I don't want to do this. You guys, this is like really good. And I'm not even a cinnamon person, but that really is delicious. I highly recommend. <laughs> I feel like a real housewife is real. I'm already slurring. Real housewife of Orange County. Okay. This was really good, by the way. I like this a lot. Ew. Irish it's cream. Just, it's and just bananas. Bailey's, and then it just has a little hint of banana and like with like vodka or whatever it's made with. Ooh, so I'm gonna I be don't like that. Hold on. Who is our who's our um native Irish person? I, I just lost your name. Nic Nicola. Nicola. Oh, I love that. Is this a is this a very common Irish drink? What? Irish cream oh, yes. and banana. <laughs> no, this is good. So this Calgary is good. People. Wow. Uh, this is amazing. Okay, it is um, good. So Amos, I I'm going to show you what I'm going to be drinking today. Okay, Kevin, so... do not ever make my face into a gif, or I will ban oh, you from everything. We will murder. We'll go. Don't, I don't Cody see on my four face. hours of sleep. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> let me take off my jewel Osco bag. Okay. Um, okay, so this is in honor of a couple different things. There's layers to this one. Okay, I'm just gonna show you first. This is okay. a, this is Cody's box. Cody's box, Cody's box. Look at the mountain. And it's this wine because Robin's always whining. Yes, this is Mary. This is Mary? No, so is Mary. She's always Oh yeah, well. come on you guys, isn't that good? No, we get yeah. it. This is why I need are you going to drink reactions. that whole thing today uh, during this broadcast? Oh, well, listen, I'm going to pop it open. Oh, wait, where's the little spout? Oh, there's a spigot. Listen, there's notes of fresh citrus, tropical fruits, and grapefruit. And of course, I got it because it lasts two whole months. So I have You're two not going to have it for two months, babe. Uh, <laughs> you know, I recently... Washington I re Grown. That's near uh, Utah, right? In the upper... You want to bring out your map? I, I have my maps over here. Listen, I love the fact that you're branding our podcast, but I couldn't help but notice that my mom's Hudson Bay blanket is nowhere in the picture. Because anymore. we used it. No, it's... Oh. In, see my... Oh, okay. My okay. Blanket you know, I see it. I believe it's you. in there. We okay. used it. Okay, good. Am I not supposed to use it? No, you can... No, I want you to use it. It was so cold last it, night. It was the biggest blanket she's ever made, she said. Well, now I feel guilty. I recently rewatched our uh, us doing the like one, the one chip challenge. Yeah, I rewatched it the other night. Oh, that's not good, babe. It's that's actually pretty good. funny. If you guys want to join our Facebook group, we love to hate TV. I think on Facebook you can just look at the videos and check out me and Jody in person together in that room there. Yes, we both fit, and we <laughs> <laughs> we did the one chip challenge, and it was awesome. look at all these people loving. My jokes, you guys. See, Amanda, they're funny. See, like, if you knew... I know you listen to a lot of Doughboys, but, like, if you listen to funny things, you would realize how funny I can be sometimes. Well, guess what? I have a new best friend named Jen from Real Housewives Recaps, and she is all in on Doughboys. She texted me all day yesterday asking for which episodes to listen to, so... I know. Like, please do not tell... Just lay it on thick with Daphne that I love the plant in the background because someday I will get that lemon meringue recipe, that elusive lemon meringue. Recipe I need to just go to the fucking store today up. and get the sheriff uh, pie filling and send it to you. All right. Are you ready? There's to listen? something Let's start. else to it though. There's something else to it. What's up with the coyote pass pillow? Oh, it's just one of my designs. Oh, I don't Can know. Check it out on our red bubble, redbubble.com. Uh, yeah, everything. we love to hate everything podcast. We got some soul pass, holes fun. over there too. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm also awesome. I'm also using the uh, your mommies posters. have to make money, <laughs> but don't no pressure, you guys. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, no. we yeah, we're 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 fighting here, and I'm probably gonna get fired from Uber after last night. If you want to hear that story, go <sighs> check out the actual podcast. You both deserve it. Okay, so I'm not ready. We're gonna get all, into so it. Tap dance for a second, and okay, I have some some little tools, some presentation tools that we might need to use later. I don't know why. Actually, I pulled up some pictures, some funny pictures. 
Oh yeah. Amanda is pretty good. She's getting the hang of these. Can I flash one of them up or no? Yeah, do a preview of like one of the ones I made. I I, I felt so I was like giggling to myself and Jody wasn't responding. So oh, I was just I, sending them to random in? people for validation. What? Did oh, you no, put I didn't in? put them in yet. No, oh, I didn't. Okay. Um I okay, well, I'm gonna throw this one up in the meantime then. I have been going on the sister wives. Please tell me you Reddit. added the word fun. No, I didn't. Mary posted oh, Mary this. Did and that. then they're talking about it on Reddit. You guys, look at her teeth. She photoshopped her little dead tooth. I feel bad. I feel like she's heard me talk about her beige tooth. And again, I mean, everyone's got teeth things. I get it. But I mean, it's so bad if you look up close. And her nose, it made her nose look like one of those little eyeglass things with the fake nose on it. That's not Mary's like, nose. Like my nose. Like a Kaczynski schnoz. Okay. Now, oh, please. I mean, come on, look at me. Now, look at this one. <laughs> okay. Now, look at the quote. It says, uh, let's just clarify okay, something here. I love this man. Hold on a second. But it looks like, oh, okay, she's proven all the haters wrong, right? Yeah. Do you see this perfect little brown spiral curl right around there, right around like her bang line? She cropped yeah. Robin out. So she was like, what? that is Robin's <gasps> curl. So oh she my cropped God. Robin out. And really, you know, it was like a, oh, Cody, go give Robin a, a s'more. Just go give her a s'more. She really needs one. Mm. You guys really can hear sad. something happening in the background? My cat is trying to open the, she's learned how to open the closet doors. Oh, so it's no. going to happen like soon. She's working on That's it. probably where that person that lives inside your walls is. She smells them. Get so them, if Latrice. you see the closet wall opening behind me, it's not a ghost. It's if anyone's going to take care of that, it's going to be Latrice. Um, are okay. you ready to start? So ready. This is season 17, episode three. <sighs> Latrice, I'm going to murder you. Stop. I to throw something at her. My chapstick. Latrice, go. Out of there. Okay, now she's going to play with the chapstick. This I, That was a terrible idea. Okay, the labors of love. <laughs> As schools begin to open up, Janelle challenges Cody about getting things back to normal. She's playing with the chapstick now. Then Christine travels to St. George, Utah to be with McKelty as she gives birth. And Mary suffers mm. a devastating loss. I feel like this is where her mom passes. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't sure if like something went out of stock at uh, LuLaRoe or something. They're retiring one of the famous patterns. All right, here we go. Um, we are going to, we, we're starting right from the very beginning, including the recap. Okay, guys. So if anyone's watching along, we're going to press play in three, two, one, go. Previously on Sister Wives. I kind of noticed you moved me into the garage. I can't have a marriage. It's not an intimate marriage. It's not fair. The reason I'm not attracted is because I feel betrayed. And I'm not special to you. And you don't love me. I feel like to Cody, Robin's more important. Okay, I just got off the phone with Garrison. Garrison doesn't move out. He gets COVID. And then he's mad at me that I'm not coming around. And he basically just tried to cut relationship. I love you, Dad, but this is goodbye forever. The line is becoming more and more intense choose this Weird side that he can cut people off so quickly his Robin own son kids hmm. or choose Wonder the side that it. includes all of my children isabel really wants to move to north carolina she was just accepted to one of the colleges there it's too bad that she gotta go that far i feel broken and isabel's leaving i spent my whole <laughs> life trying to be the hero for the my vlog. kids and now they're trying to make me the villain because I want to protect my children. I'm gonna steal the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. He sounds like Nicolas Cage there. God. Such an idiot. Ugh. God, Robin. The silence. Cage. It's our destiny. We're ready to get our destiny. St. George, here we go. Okay, we got a traffic circle. Yes, this is our first watch of it. Yeah, no, I have not seen any of Tony McKelvey's apartment. So, today is mine and Cody's anniversary. Um, 
it's so loaded is was <laughs> anniversary i don't even know um i don't consider myself married to him anymore at all six weeks ago we had a conversation i just said i need you to let me go it's over i don't want to be married to you anymore and God, i'm also going to be moving to utah so I just I haven't, I don't know when to have a conversation with my sister wives. I don't know when to tell truly. I don't know. But no one really knows the finality of all of this. I, I'm going to pause at 218. Yeah. Janelle, okay, let, I want to discuss, do we yeah. think Janelle must have been helping her through this? I don't think she would have even done this without consulting with Janelle beforehand and making sure everything would be kosher. Yeah, and if you think about it, you guys, I'm sorry, I will stop messing with my hair. And I just feel like I look You're disgusting. You're fine. Um, You're beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Cue I have Hermione Gring Gringold, Gringold hair right now. I the tried thing is, is that we know more and more because like current day on social media, all of the kids are all co-mingling. They're all best friends. They're true siblings. So there's no way, even if Christine and Janelle were not talking to each other, the kids are talking. So yeah, information's going to get passed back and forth. And there's no way besides maybe McKelty, only based on one of the previews that we saw for right, this episode. And I hate that. I hate it. Yeah. Which I'm almost I like thinking, I don't want to watch any more previews for the rest of the season. It's going to be so hard but i really want to go into each episode completely blind from now okay, on can i can i tell you something i yeah. did watch one one little thing from this and i watched the preview for next week <gasps> and michael amanda michael christine tells everyone next week with cody present and cody says My butt cheeks just clenched <laughs> and i'm on one of those exercise ball chairs and everything just shifted so if you saw my entire body like go up a foot well Whoa. when it happens cody says well we need to go i mean you can't take truly because we'll have 50 50 <gasps> custody <laughs> and then christine in a talking head 50, goes if you 50. wanted 50 50 time you could have done it the whole Fucking time you lived here in Flagstaff. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't, 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 to my kidneys. I really do think he takes inspiration from Nicolas Cage. I can it's all coming together now. Oh, this is so good. Uh, yeah, I think Janelle knows, but she can't throw because Janelle might be currently with Cody at this point, and she can't throw Janelle <laughs> under the bus. Like a they're a talking, you know. Amez, am I saying your name right? A Amez Van Mercer. She's a don't Amy? insult Nick. Don't no, it's A M E S. Oh, okay. Ames? I'm looking at Amy. Ames? <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, anyway, she said, don't insult Nick Cage like that, Jody. Oh. Nick Cage is like an actor of our generation. Is he Canadian? I feel like there's a little Canadian. I feel like he, he has a little Canadian in him, but uh, yeah. I, mean, I feel like if he did like one of those, like uh, the family tree things, he would. Oh, Ames. Up, okay, yeah. got it. A oh, Amy, but Ames. Okay. I, I, no, I, I, went, I went full like, like ethnicity with that i was like amez oh aubrey we're gonna need the kidney gif for sure oh we okay so for one of our little preview uh pictures we need to put a kidney in there we need to do a kidney based <laughs> a kidney with like preview. googly eyes and just yeah. like early ramen hair <laughs> just losing his shit it's like dying okay uh, uh, oh but Janelle knew. Janelle would have known, yes? Of course, yeah. She was like, yes, go for it, Christine. I Savannah's here one more year. I already, I'm closing on that RV next week, and I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to have, yeah, Cody empty I'm gonna the shitter make, on I'm the gonna RV change one my, more gonna, time. I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat chili cheese nachos every day oh for God. both of us. The like, entire In honor way. of you. And so that there's just so much chili cheese shit in that shitter. The only thing I wish for Christine is that she made those chili cheese nachos, like a chili cheese. And I know you're going to argue with me because you're psychotic and you don't like French fries. But I think that she should go for like a chili cheese fry. I mean, Perhaps like a crinkle fry even. So it can kind of like absorb in the nooks and crannies. I could fuck with a crinkle cut fry. 
Oh, okay. So you would love a Portillo's really cheese fry. I think this is like the denim color. It's like bluish. I don't know why it's looking purplish, but it's like a denim -y blue. Um, okay, let's get into this. I'm super excited. <laughs> Nicholas says everyone knows except, except Mary. poor Mary. <laughs> Mary's just Mary doesn't know what's going on. Listen, Linda, I'm just making Rice Krispie treats. It. I'm calling it Vicky's Victorian Hideaway. Right, from we're at two eighteen. I think. But anyway, I told him before we left. Before I left to come, because I'm at McKelvey's house. I'm on baby watch right now. McKelvey's due to have her baby any day. She looks great, pregnant. So before we her. left, yeah, I said, you know, our anniversary is coming up, there, and for our anniversary, I don't, I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to post anything on social media because he's like maybe we should post something uh our kids oh, and everything so we'll make and you said, look you know better no i asked her if we wanted to post anything on social media in a little way as a test but you know protect our kids she says no uh, <laughs> it's the first time i've ever actually been able to go okay wow she's serious about this i think i want to keep testing it though <gasps> chuckles he chuckles it says in the captions listen he listen linda he has the world's best producers because his producers are like amber's producers where they, they still make have them feel convinced. we're buddies yeah, yeah. yeah. we're on Tony, your side right. tell us mm -hmm. more about what a fucking bitch christine this is like robert durst i killed them all i mean like, it really just... is though yeah he goes this is this is against me. Like it's all about him. And it's the producers are like, Cody. To me. <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's true though. They're, I mean, his producers deserve all like there needs to be awards for this. A test. Like, there needs to be Emmy awards for this. What kind of honest to God, okay. I know I'm not sure if uh Dr. Amy, we have Dr. Amy from New York that listens to us. Yeah. What kind of psychopathy is that where they're just saying exactly what they're doing, which is horrible things. And they think that's going to make them somewhat more likable. Like, I'm telling you, I'm going to test it. Isn't that, isn't that so cute? Like, I tested it. What is that? I have it here. Uh, and just said, girls, is your stream set to a lower quality, a highest no. quality for me? Too I don't think so. Uh, anyone else know anything about that? Let her know in the chat. Please, oh gosh, if it's you. going, I'm an actually as high you're as probably, possible. I got we probably look like better at 240. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just our filter. That's just our filter. <laughs> oh, it's oh, called a, to yeah. me. <laughs> yes. You never know when she's just going to realize that the life she's looking to create somewhere else isn't going to be any better than what she's had or got. Her life is so What? Beautiful. Like, if you guys look at her social media, she is living her freaking best life. What does he think is going to be... Or, like, what does he think that she has that's so good with them right now? That two times a year sex with his bird's nest dick. Oh, gross. Awful. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm disgustingly trying to picture this in my head right now. And I, I picture Christine being like, God, I thought I wanted this, but I, I really oh, don't. You know, Christine <laughs> watching this back is like, thank God I love Jacqueline, Nicole, uh, narcissism. Yes. And I want to kind of yeah. discuss this really quickly. We, people do throw around the word narcissist a lot. Sort of like trigger warning, like that sort of, yeah. Gaslighting. PTS gaslighting. But mm -hmm. with Cody gaslighting narcissist, that is, this is an example that I would hope that like professors use in their classes. Yeah. Cause this yeah. is, I mean, this is a textbook example. He has no idea what he looks like. No. Yeah. Because his producers are really good and they probably don't have to do much. They're probably like, Hey Cody, did you watch uh, that high school wrestling match last week? That's all they have to oh, say. Yeah. He is oh yeah. So warmed up for His it. His penis is like, beep. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love how you used this. Beep. beep. I just oh, made it go up a little. Gross. It's a teeny tiny. Oh, it's so tiny. It's, it's so, so tiny. <laughs> okay. He is so cold all the time. <laughs> Okay, we're at 314. Oh. I'm pressing play. I mean, I don't wear our wedding rings anymore most of the time. 
I just feel like they're a noose, to be honest with you. Ooh, About whoa. three months ago, I asked them not to come over anymore. I went up to my room and I took my rings off. And gosh, it felt so good just to take them off. It's mm. over. I don't know at what point it's over. Like, I don't know what the final... I'm guessing it's when I asked him to not come over anymore. That's what I'm guessing. Cody and I never had a legal marriage. Like, it was a spiritual marriage. And That's I don't tough. know at what point our marriage is technically over. Because there was no real marriage contract. He never really God, wanted to marry. never married for 26 years. Stop this showing Christina that wedding dress, wedding DLC. We don't need to see it's it anymore. a long no. time okay. to be with somebody. We had a lot, a lot of great to times. To so we have wonderful kids. And we both are who we are today because of the marriage and the time that we had together. So it's not a failure. But I realize there's no real intimacy. I mean, sex has been something that <gasps> she said the word has been missing for sure. But the intimacy yeah, oh yeah. of the I marriage, it, it just wasn't there. Intimacy needs trust. Attraction in my oh, no. world oh, needs no. trust. Oh, no. And I thought she was being mean. I was angry. Oh my God. To Robin. Please, please, to Robin. please, 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 please. I thought she was being mean. What was she being mean to you? She has done nothing. I don't know, because I tell you, I'm 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 rewatching these like later seasons, the season where because I only watched these seasons once. I'm re-watching for the first time the season where they have just moved to Flagstaff and he's trying to put the big house on them. Like he's trying to sell that big house oh, thing. Right, right, right. Christine and Robin are like giddy together. They're like being silly. They're like best friends. They clearly have been texting each other. They're like, oh my God, like he's so stupid. Like when he's giving his little presentation, <laughs> they're like, oh my God, like what the fuck? Like they're like best friends. Like you cannot watch this show and put any moment where Christine is being mean to Robin. And yes, I know that Cody can say, oh, it's editing. They're just, edit but we've, we have 17 seasons of this. And we have not caught a single moment of her being nasty or even giving her no. a mean. If you want to say Janelle, her only look to Robin is like, oh, yeah. Like just pissed off. But Cody would never, ever question Janelle. But because I'm starting Janelle... to think that Robin's not even really bitching about her. Like, I bitching I, about I, Janelle or Christine? Janelle, I don't. I kind of, I'm starting to turn to just the fact okay. that Robin is also a victim. I mean, she clearly is. I think but she I had to have, at least in the beginning. I think she would never question Janelle because Janelle, Christine is a more emotional. And I'm not saying that like yeah. as a weakness at all. I'm completely like that. Like I wear my heart right. on my sleeve. If there's something like I like to talk about it, whatever. I'm kind of like Christine, like pro therapy. Let's get it out there. Janelle is more, um, you know, like when she was done talking with Robin, all she has to say is she's like, whew, it's a little cold out here. I mean, it's like mid-July oh, in Arizona. She's like, I'm not fucking cold. with Janelle. Well, that's what I mean. Like, she's just going to yeah. tell you like, no, yeah, we're done. Like, no, I'm not going to talk. So I don't think Robin would even think to pick a fight with her. Here's a but comment. Christine's from, an easy uh, victim. Melis Mel Melis 270605 Christine's being so very well coached on how to talk yeah. to a narcissist. Yeah, I mean true. And how to not give him the high energy accusation that is fuel for his fire. That's exactly yeah. what it is. It, they hate they hate it so much when you can just If you be validate like, okay, them just yeah. enough, then they can't yeah. argue like, you because you've, al you've almost just agreed with them. I think the best spin Christine ever had was when he said that shitty thing last episode and she's like, "Thank you." Oh, that was, was so nice night. of you to that was say. the sweetest thing you've ever said. And he was like, bah, bah, bah. He was so <laughs> yeah. Upset about it. yeah, he short circuited he and then he was apologizing. The, oh, ja wild. Jacqueline says Janelle is smarter than Robin anyway. <sighs> well, I mean, yeah. Latrice is smart. Latrice knows how to open closet doors. <laughs> Well, obviously, Robin doesn't because that's where Cody's been hiding for uh, to get his quiet man cave time. Remember last week, he's literally hiding in a in a, a closet, closet in a seven bedroom home. 
Seven bedroom, five bath, mm, Jody. Mm, okay, great. Um, Laura says, no, watch Robin's face and eyes on the show. Her body language really ticks me off during the show. What she says and what she thinks is very different. I want to say, I was watching the yep. episode where they are all moving, like the day of moving from Las Vegas to Flagstaff. And there's this really interesting moment where she's trying to get Brianna out of her room to like do something with Aurora, uh, um, Aria, Ar- Ariola. And... Mm. And Dayton comes in and Robin's like, I mean, look, I know that moving day is stressful for everyone, but this is very interesting. She, this is, this is in the episode leaving Las Vegas. You can, you guys can all go watch it. She's in her room and Dayton comes in and she's like, did you get Brianna? And he's like, oh no, she's not coming. Or she says, she says that she still has to pack up her bathroom and Robin like straightens up and she goes, what does that mean? And it's like, you saw Robin for a Uh-oh. second. She clicked. Uh-oh. She was like, what? That control. What does that, that control. She, Like her face just turned into, it almost relaxed into. Like evil Bethany Robin. Frankel's jaw relaxed after she had the baby and got Botox in it. Oh, did it relax? Oh, God. Robin's oh, my God. The jaw. jaw transformation before and after is unreal. Okay, J. Uh, J. Carey just said, "I watched two. No spoilers, but definitely watch Robin's face on the Zoom conference call." Oh my god! I <gasps> when they were all in their cars, or would you? No, no, no. There's a Zoom car. call coming up in this episode because I remember seeing oh, it from the preview. All right, we are at four forty-five, okay. and I am about to press play. Okay. It's like, God, man, you're un plural marriage for me. You're unwind a whole life, my whole purpose. God. No. We're not having an intimacy until you get this straight. And I wish I would have not even been that angry, but I wish I would have actually said, well, we got to work on some things. Oh, well, yeah. The future is huge and unknown. I wish so bad I could move to Utah right I mean, that's going to turn her on. She'll be dropping those granny panties. I'm not as fast as I would like. like Isabel and Gwendolyn still live at home and they will live at home until they both move to go to college. I still will move just after the girls have moved out and just moving in September. Anyway, that was it. It's just been uh, a weird, <laughs> a weird day, I guess. But she's no giddy. expectations, she's, right? She, I was just gonna say she's, she's so excited. I didn't have any contact with Christine on her anniversary, and it's just an affirmation that it's over. Yeah, but I'm still wondering. Yeah, she told I mean, her it's over. Goodness, she hasn't even told her sister wife what's going on. But I do think she's told all of her. As if Cody hasn't told Robin. He went home. Oh, yeah, Robin's clueless. In the car. You know, he called her just screaming like, on the car, in the car. You know what that bitch just said to me? Oh, well, Robin's busy working. She is very busy. They haven't had a chance. Kids, I'll bet you those who are in the rumor mill know. Okay, Cody doesn't like everyone that doesn't talk to you. Family. Oh, there's the pond. They showed the pond for a second. Oh. We're going Switch down, down. Okay. Mary, looks like Mary's Here coming on. Nice, Mary. We're all getting together on a video conference to basically check in with each other. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so another. Co- is this this is such a power move for oh. Cody and Robin to be together during the yes. conference call? That uh-huh. I would immediately click off and be like, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not. Doing yeah. This at all. Yep. And they are right on top of each other there. Wouldn't you, even as Robin, be like, I'm going to just go sit in the car and make it look like I went grocery shopping or That's something. what she used to do in the other seasons. She would be in the car. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. So this at least is... like give the idea that he could, or he should go sit in his car because she says he he goes, he goes. I okay. Hold on. Can we, I, I definitely want to like keep going obviously with the show, but, and this yeah, could be me projecting like my past growing up sort of issue things but cody's i mean first of all we all know that he's always had that kind of like smarmy businessman he doesn't really work you gotta he wants sell it. to think that he's you know a businessman kind of a thing is there a possibility like he definitely comes across as like we know he's not an alcoholic he like he does seem like someone who's carrying some secrets he seems like the kind of guy who would be like gambling. Like all I need oh, to I do is just like, like if, make it big. If, if I can just died, make it big, I can like, pay if this he off. died like tomorrow, I feel like if they dug some stuff up, they would find a lot of like secrets about him. I feel like, I, I don't know why. Like, I just feel like there's gambling, gambling debt. And again, I'm 
completely willing to say like I'm p- projecting here, but he just seems like the kind of guy who would be like, okay, well, where is he all day? Robin thinks he's gone at their house and they're like, yeah, no, we haven't seen him. Where is he? And I might have Googled if there's a nearby casino and there is. Um, oh yeah. Oh, there's, there's ca- casinos all over that whole area. Yeah. He's just got the vibe of like, I- I'm just one jackpot away from making everything. Okay. I can buy the land out from the other wives and I can tell them to go scratch. I can, you know, like pay off all their, debts and loans and mortgages and all that kind of stuff i don't also, know uh, okay I, I i recently rewatched the episode where i mean i'm like we know uh he's doing the presentation of like this is my house welcome to my house and robin's like oh, i'm looking around and i'm like oh does anyone else know what's going on because i sure don't and then the whole time she's just she's just walking around she's not looking at him. she's like pretending to clean was she's, it like, this at janelle's house it, it was at or, I'm sorry no Christine's Mary, house. I think it was at Mary's house. Oh, okay. But but Robin's just kind of walking around like she's just really not making eye contact and all of her talking heads are like I just don't, I'm like what's going on man? Like wow, beaker face, beaker face, beaker face. Yeah. Speaking of, I want to show you guys like she didn't used to make the beaker face in the later no, in the earlier not season. Not at all. But, like, look at this thing. <laughs> and like look at the first picture in this one. Look at this. This first picture. Look at how beakery lines. she is. Her Can face just kind of has. Her Cody has. I can't do that. Cody has created that. I feel like her. everyone right now is trying to recreate that. Like feeling like, do I the the Those hatchet eyebrows? eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, hatchet. it's really rough. It's so bad. Yeah. How about Oof. this one? Remember this moment? Well, I'll never forget this moment. I hope everyone moment. has a wonderful Thanksgiving. This, I mean, I would divorce him immediately. Like how scary it's also frightening. How can you, how can Robin, I I, never, I I keep meaning to say this and I keep forgetting to, how can Robin have watched season 17, episode one of just this conversation with him and Christine and not been like, maybe I should leave him too, because he's a psychopath and he's going to murder us. Mm. This will end in a murder suicide. Because she will immediately go into defensive mode and be like, oh, I didn't realize Christine had me figured out. Because Robin still thinks that she's got everyone fooled. I think the reason Robin doesn't leave is because, here, here we go, she she's lazy. And she doesn't uh, I was just going to say, what's she going to do? Yeah. what She's lazy. She, she Well, her. she can't get a loan on her own oh, for another house. For she and Cody Jody. have to be together. To get into massive debt. Can you pull up the uh, the the logo I made for next? Just get it like prepared because I would like to preview it for next week. Just sure. do it just while we're doing this. We still have sure. like three hours left of this. Fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. We are at, ju- we'll just preview it for everyone because I'm very yeah. proud of it. Uh, we're at 623 and we're on the Zoom call. COVID-19 meeting. Well, Stop calling it COVID nineteen. Major no. things have changed. Schools have opened up, so kids can go back into the classroom. We're having this meeting, but it seems like she's trying to actually run our meeting. Like she's trying to take charge of it. She's got a brain she's got, got and thoughts and stuff. Independent yeah. woman now. There's I literally that. I don't need you guys Ew, anymore. That's so gross. And independent to, woman. I don't Ew. have to um, really uh, submit myself to what the group wants. Well, let's, let's first, I mean, I haven't seen Christine or Janelle for a while, uh, or even you, Mary. Uh, oh, like Janelle, that. how is North Carolina? Uh, it's it's great. We're doing great. Janelle looks rough. I already right? scheduled like two months she ago. Doesn't, Janelle doesn't give a North shit Carolina. how she looks on a Zoom meeting. Savannah's <laughs> online school, so we just decided to take the advantage and go. So Axel and Evie, how are they doing? Yeah, they're doing good. They're how cute. You, you can't so. call them, Cody? um we're we're enjoying the the hangout for sure so you know i think cody has his opinions She's about blessed. my my choosing to travel but i'm sort of like you know i'm um, i i have to see my kids you can choose and i'll choose that's what he always says you choose and i'm like okay i'll choose he's choosing i'm actually kind kids. of experiencing some some wish that i could go see him and be there and uh you know i just have to do it via wishful proxy with janelle 
Um, Christine, how's um, Kelty doing? Uh, so she's having real contractions now, not just Braxton Hicks. I adore McKelty. She came to live with me. Before. Okay, this part triggers me so much because if I were Christine, I would be like, get my daughter's name out your motherfucking How mouth. How dare you? How dare Don't, you? She's about to call her her baby. And I only know that because they released this preview already. Or I married Cody. And so we have a really close bond. McKelty has invited me to the baby's birth. Um, and I am kind of trying to figure out if there's a way that I can go. Well, yeah, you can just go and do it. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> God, this was just like a lot right there. Um, who? Okay, so I, I, I like I don't even know where to start. Jesus. Okay, so Cody can't even call his supposed favorite daughter, really, right? Madison. No. Man, Madison. Well, Caleb. Oh God, the episode where they move and then Caleb and Maddie have to like get in their car and leave. Cody hugs him and this is he the first like time smells Cody his actually... hair like. No, he is sobbing and Caleb's like clearly trying to get out of the hug and Cody's just like <laughs> hugging him tight. Oh, just yeah. hugging. So, but somehow that's Janelle's fault that he hasn't reached out to his own child and grandchildren. Um, and now before they were even married, McKelty went to live with her before so that would mean before they were even married, Christine was actually trying to have a relationship with Robin. Yeah. Like, like wouldn't that be like rock think. solid proof? Yeah. But no, 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 no. And Robin also needs help with three school age children by having yeah. another teenager because what's so difficult? And I also remember uh, when she moved, she she tried so hard, Jody, to get a new job, but she just couldn't. She was out there looking. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I found out another thing. Did you let Robin stepdad and mom owned those duplexes? The stepdad that was like in her vagina with his camera when she was giving birth? Oh, when she was crowning? Yeah. 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 What about it? So she wasn't even working to have to pay rent there. Remember she who was there paying yeah. rent to live there? No, no, no. The no, parents I know. Okay. All right. I know. She's a loser. She's a loser. Okay. We're still Sorry. dealing with COVID crap. And so I'm trying to work it out right now. So this midwife has done like, I don't know, 60,000 births. She's the most oh, experienced midwife. Maybe, maybe five, maybe a thousand births, maybe 2,000, 60,000. Oh, it's insane. And then she's chill. Fuck off, Cody. She's what so calm. McKelty's, oh no, the midwife is calm. Is McKelty calm? Calmer than Tony. Oh my gosh, he's not a man at home birth. He's not. He's not really? happy. He's only That's ever heard of hospital births and his mom had hospital births and he's never even heard of home births. So before I met Cody's family, I didn't even know you could have a baby at home anymore. Still, that seemed like an olden days Tony's. kind of pioneer thing Fuck or something, off street right? Talk, really, truly, I think Not anybody who's had a home birth would say the recovery at home is miles beyond the recovery in a hospital. Hmm. All right, let's talk about school and COVID nineteen. The new school policy. I need him to stop on. saying this COVID nineteen. Yeah, you're not Dr. Fauci. Settle down, Brown. No one calls it COVID nineteen. After spring break, even at this time, they've no set it up so kids can go back to school. I personally would prefer him to do it from home online than to go and wear a no. mask at school. Savannah has oh, decided okay, to Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm going to like try to... Okay, I know we have lots of uh, listeners and viewers that fall on both sides of the fence here. I'm going to keep my personal opinion and, you know, knowledge of like science or whatever to the side. For the man who has been so eager to put in the the scientific we're we're going by the cdc protocols his doctor protocols. right Pro, right we have to socially distance we have to wear a mask wipe things down but when a school says we're going to wear a mask and keep distance and wipe things down well now wearing a mask is like a no, 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 no. don't wear a mask this is my right as an american citizen 
So you should wear a mask to stay away from your family. But the, that's a, he, yeah. this is the whole point being, I don't care where you fall about masks or whatever. Besides the point, Gabe, again, who is someone who I don't necessarily politically agree with, was oh right. God. This isn't about COVID. That's it. End of story. It's stupid. Yeah. All right. We are at yeah. 9.35. Yeah. To stay online. I think most of her friends are. So Ariella is not in school yet, and Solomon is doing really good because he's online. So all of Robin's kids will probably just stay online. So Isabel initially, like, they were told they can all go back to the classroom, but it's, she's like, I'm a se- I'm a, I told her, I said, I know you're a senior, so you really want to go back in person. And she's like, I do. Isabel's a senior. Mm-hmm. After graduation, well, she doesn't want to stay in Flagstaff. So she always has known that, and because of it, she's got only a few more weeks with her friends. So I would like her to go in person. I don't know what that means, though. I don't know if that means that Cody, you can't come over anymore, so she's going to go back to school. Is that what that her means? Her fingers are crossed under the table. Yeah. Please don't come over. There are going to be really strict protocols, it sounds like, though, at the school. Um, Safer than at your house mean, with the nanny. There's strict protocols, but you're still... It's not like going in and out of a grocery store. It's like going into a building in the same room and sitting there for hours, you know, breathing the same air Sutton. and all that stuff. I'm really glad that Savannah like you were with your nanny. It makes it easier for, you know, like, I mean, we don't have to worry about anything at your house, Janelle. But if Isabel's going to go back to school, then that totally changes everything at your house, Christine. Okay. So you wouldn't be able to come over and stuff if Isabel goes back to school? Yeah. I don't know, Cody. I think. Uh, I don't know. Oh I guess that's up to you. I mean, I'm Say feeling really bad for Izzy having to choose between her dad and her she's friends. So scared of him. It frustrates me that Cody is making it so much like, a, if you go to school, I can't see you. Because I don't think, I think that's ridiculous. Well, she's going to be able to see her friends daily. I mean, if that's... The people who care about her. School. She's going to school. I would do it. It's just going to make it so that, here's the thing, everybody can do what they want, but I can't be exposed to people... And then I, I can't be going from house to house all Robin's the time. Robin's face. Cody has like seven expressions. And it's house to house, protocols, COVID-19, oh. set in there, really big deal. Like, small children. The little age, small Jody. children that he has to take care of. He, and Rob, mean, Robin just sat in there. like With a beaker face. She has a literal yep. beaker face. Look. Beaker, because yeah, she, she's trying to do like the Nickelodeon kid actor face acting of like I I can't control him. I don't know what he's saying. I just I'm going along with it because he's the man and he's so smart. Oh, uh, oh, oh, that's right. Cody and Robin did go see the baby afterwards. Yeah, this is yeah. He's been going house to house for two seasons now. Yep. Like you saw when Janelle said, like I, it was, uh, I don't even know what was said, but you could see his the wheels turning. Like how can I? Oh, she uh-huh. made a really good Spin point. Uh, What's my excuse? I, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Robin's yeah. no help. Robin's like, I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here though. I'm I don't want him here all the time. Cheeks. Sorry, guys. I feel me like too. Christine's <laughs> trying to pin me down. Even Janelle is trying to pin me down That's on what shot. I'm going to do down. because I sometimes feel like they want to catch me in some yeah. kind of covid you protocols uh hypocrisy oh you don't say <laughs> oh st- he's this is so, what i mean he's the least exactly self-aware he's person doing. i've ever seen he's less self-aware than like amber or farah or like oh, oh, covid protocol <laughs> hypocrisy how gabe's a narcissist this one I TLC, I, I just... want to I want you guys to plug in the question that every producer asked him before he said any of these things. It's like, I what bet you they ask him <laughs> one question and he just goes off. They don't <laughs> even have to ask the fo- yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Off to the races. Yeah, I told you we interviewed a kid one time when we were interviewing for teacher. We asked him, tell us a little about yourself and never made it to the other 17 questions. He talked for an hour straight. That's Jay Carey. Is that Jim Carrey? Hi, Jim Carrey. Uh, so this is April 2021. Huge fan. I, huge fan. I have my two vaccines. So this is April 2020 when this is happening. Yeah. No one's calling I mean, it COVID-19. But there's not really any protocols. And also, I, again, I, I moved this year. That there's year. only something that someone is so strict and committed to CDC guidelines. If there's only something he could do. 
to help follow those protocols more. Okay, do what they're saying then. This is just We're Cody in, being, a, like you guys all said, a control freak, a narcissist. We're at 1151. So I'm being super careful about answering them. I want to see Isabel. I trying to see if how accommodating Christine will be for that because she's traveled like crazy, making it so I wasn't able to see the kids anyway. Oh my God. You know I what hate, I wonder I though, Cody, when are you feeling you like stoned on this video? You can call. have a normal life again. Oh, I mean, Robin almost by the way, her eyes. Robin and Cody watch her eyes. They, look, they definitely have a filter on though. They definitely put a filter on. Because it looks like there's Vaseline on the screen. I was going to say, Cody almost looks like a toddler. He looks like a glass doll. <laughs> and we know like that that's Barbara not what Walters. it looks like, babe. <laughs> yeah. Is the infection rate low enough? At what point? I mean, like, at what point is that? Is that point? What's your chances, really, of getting the virus from Isabel, who goes to school and is completely no contact? I am crossing a line, but... No, you're I not. don't know. I just can't. It just frustrates me so much that I can't keep my mouth shut. I wish she would well, stand up to him more. Go he would actually her listen to see her and be apart from her. It's your kid. Go see her in the backyard. Call her on the phone. It was snowing when we Robin started this face. call. There's more for me to consider here, and there always has been, than Christine and her needs. Huh. Huh. Like his name, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This might be you know one of the wonder, best though, documentary Cody, series of all time. I know. Like I mean, you could have a normal life again. The staircase. It frustrates what? me that Cody is making it so much like a, if you go to school, I can't see you. I think that's ridiculous. Well, when I feel comfortable that I couldn't get it and then spread it to somebody else, I'm not worried about me being sick, even though I've got. Like health goals that I want to be able to focus on. Stuff hold like on, that. Hold on, I want hold everybody on. to make their choice. Wait, I missed what he said because I was doing, I was putting up a thing on the um, screen. <laughs> he said, "Covid aside, be, besides getting sick, there's health goals that he wants to meet. What are Cody's health goals? Well, we know it's to work out to Paca Bell, and he likes He's to run to among the houses. He likes right. to stand so, on a pile of dirt." Right. Swim in his disgusting little undies. Right. Um, hack away at some logs. Roll logs just back and forth. Just roll them. But they're no stripping them too. They're stripping the logs. Um, be able to take your sun visor off and wrap it around your arm twice to wear as like a little cuffy sleeve <laughs> when you're not using it. Which is, it, it kind of just gave, gave gave Gabe more power in that scene because Cody was clearly so nervous because he didn't know what to do with his sun visor. It was like a, a, someone with their, it's like me with my hair right now. It's Cody's ponytail. Oh my god. I'm like, oh, my also, cheeks like, are like so red right now, by the way. You're looking at mine. That's why you're saying that. I no, that. no, no, no. I can <laughs> feel so them. Funny. And I know, I know I that I, I, I don't ever want to watch this back because I know that I've been super Tourette's this whole time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I have no control over my body. Um, health goals means yeah, wrestling and hair growth. Means, Absolutely, yeah. he's committed to that dat curly girl method. I want. I want to see what he uses for his flop. Like, what item of clothing does he use for his flop? It's like Robin's like underwear. Ugh, her Victoria's Secret underwear. Which hold on, Amanda. Jody. Shout out to Amanda. <gasps> you found it. This is my masterpiece, you guys. It's kind of sucks. <laughs> I've made three more Does since not. then that are way better than this. But um, this it's hilarious. Four hours. But I'm really it's proud hilarious. of it. It, really, it took me a really long time. I didn't realize did how amazing. much work you were doing behind the scenes for the past five years for us. Because I just thought it was amazing, well, I mean, I guess it is easy now. Yeah. It's amazing, so that's going to be next week. We got a taco in the oven, I said. <laughs> I love it. Froth eyes and yeah. shirt tacos. How Tacos. gross is it that Cody can, or Cody, Freudian slip, that Tony can shoot doubles. Ooh, gross. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's proceed. This is, this is good. damning. And somebody, I forget who it was, but someone said Robin can, Robin is looking everywhere but the screen during this call. Uh -huh. She's like, because she's trying to look busy. She's looking after her. So much going on. Children. Oh, I have so much to do, Cody. Yeah. I'm really feeling awkward because you can hear it in Janelle and Christine's voice. 
I hear this sort of nuance, this this sarcasm. Look of, at their faces. You know, are you going to keep doing what you're doing? Because it's really stupid compared to what we think. And I need that to be a new okay. sound clip. Um, Him doing a girl voice. Oh, I think you're doing really stupid. It's really stupid that you're doing. Let's we listen to that, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. It's the snotty little attitude about snotty. the rules and stuff he, like he that that I've had. Jody. And I'm I'm sort of tired of the snotty attitudes, so I'm just being supportive. Isabel, go do your thing. Oh wait, where'd I go? Did I miss it? Nuance this this sarcasm okay, we of well, are you going to keep doing what you're doing? Because it's really stupid compared to what we think. And it's just that's definitely like what what Cody does when he's with his boys to make fun of gay people. That's like his gay voice. Like <sighs> well, yeah, that's. Just him imitating robin imitating them that's the same robin impersonation like oh so i'm just gonna i'm ner i'm nervous that i'm gonna that i'm attitude. that robin is slowly pulling me onto her side and i need you guys to all pull me back no no pull robin out, is not innocent babe. in this I don't mm. think she's innocent, but I also she's think she's reaping she is a what she so no, no 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 she's reaping what she sowed or vice versa whatever this is what she wanted she Look made at this, this screenshot I have of Cody right now. Snotty little attitude about I don't like that word rules and stuff like that that I've had. And I'm I'm sort of tired of the snotty attitudes, so I'm just being supportive. Isabel, oh, I can't wait till Ariola's a teenager. Yeah. In my head, Cody's She's relationship with his kids is more snot. important than anything else. Yeah, bitch. I understand Isabel's desire to return to school, but I'm also oh, just you do? I'm really, really concerned about this. And whoa, it's, whoa, whoa, whoa. She it's just rolled her eyes. that I just find that really, her daughter stepped really on stupid. Spine well, what is Isabel talking about going back, Christine? What? I didn't ask her. I would assume right away. Is she not up there with you? No. She stayed. She and Gwendolyn are home. I was going to go over and see him, and she, she told me that she had gone to the school. Did she end up going and getting a test? Um... She told me she was going to go talk to you about getting a test scheduled so she could go test. She has the link to get herself tested. Oh, I'll have to talk to her. See, she's, she's, she's like, my kids do things for themselves. Yeah. Some she schedules her own. This is what I'm talking about with Christine sort of like rejecting everything we used to do. She would normally set this up so that I could go over and see Isabel while she's gone. Like, Hey, listen, I, I, why can't you? You got all of our information. Why can't you book need to, like, testing? Get up and take a walk. Help me out. I am in St. George. The girls are in Flagstaff. Oh, can we and pause I it told them, you know, here. Uh, this is hopefully dad will reach out. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. He is so exhausted. So he's pissed because Christine is not facilitating the relationship that I, I'm like mm, not facilitating the relationship that he should have with his own daughter. She used to set things up so that I could see my children. Well, like she just said, she can set this up on her own. She's growing up. She's a teenager. She's doing things that, you know, Robin's kids should be doing. And, and also, you both have you both have phones and probably I assume you both have each other's number. You and Isabel. You're her dad. You, yeah. you are her dad. She should not have to be facilitating that for you. And I the mean, fact they, that Robin is sitting there. Robin who has kids that, wait, do they still have a biological dad or did no, he just he doesn't like disappear exist. off the face? Oh, okay. Got it. You got pulled it. up that picture of their, uh, of the, of her ex-husband and boy, oh, okay. boy, does he look it. like, boy, does Aurora look like him. Aurora looks just I mean, it's like the exact the same face, but also he's cousins with Cody. So they look like, she no, kind of looks like Cody. With Christine. I thought he was. I think he's related oh, maybe to Cody, Cody somehow too. I think he is. It's very incestual. Because, because uh, anyone know that? Okay, hold on. Let us know in the chat. What's the yeah, relationship Christine with Christine? Is somehow like those are her. Oh, here, no, Christine and Robin's ex are first cousins. Right, but so I think he's also related Rob... to Cody. Oh no, I I totally believe you're right. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think you're right too. Because Christine and Cody are somehow related. Jesus, this is insane. Ugh. Yeah, why isn't Robin saying anything? Like, you know, if you want to have a relationship with your kids, you should reach out. Just like if her ex, David, wanted a relationship with the three kids, 
he should reach out. It's such a double standard. It's oh. a, what did Cody call it? Hypocrisy. Oh, here we go. Um, Nicole says, Cody and Christine are fourth cousins. Okay. I don't like that yeah. story, babe. Yeah, I, I know Christine and David Jessup, her ex, are first cousins. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. there's like some cross mingling Yeah, there. Cody's cousin. So if if so, they are they're all related. All of them are fucking related. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're at fifteen twenty three. He wants to come over so you guys can get COVID tested, and but then he never said when he was going to go over so they can get COVID tested. They're also, not going to go get tested mind, every single day hoping and thinking they're going that he's going to come over. I was waiting to see kind of what this conversation was before I decided anything. Uh, right now, Solomon and uh, Brianna are still online. I just wanted to see kind of what this conversation was before anything else was decided, but kind of sounds like. Well, I, I, I've specifically asked that um, Brianna and Solomon not go back to school. So he asks Brianna to not go back to school in person because he wants to be around her. But he says Isabel can go back. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Isabel would love a phone call from her dad saying, can you please not go back to school in person so I can come see you? Could you please go get COVID tested so I can come over and hang out with you because I really miss you. But it's really hard for me that he just doesn't call Isabel and talk to her in person or even text her. Okay. And I'll let like, Isabel know that she can just make the choice. I guess it's tough. Oh, Robin just it's rolled tough. her eyes. Um, yeah, she's just going to have rolling to her eyes. with that choice. Yeah, she's you know, the, she's the, like the, just actively choosing. rolling her eyes this whole Brianna time. Brianna is not nearly as social as Isabel, especially during a senior well, year. Uh, okay, pause. You know, God, I wonder why. I wonder yeah. why she's not as social. Yeah, hmm. weird. Would it be because uh, her mom's a helicopter mom? I was just going to say And her stepdad's freaking psychotic? Yeah, she has an actual psychopath as her dad. That is, oh, God. And you know Christina's thinking, not only is this actually happening to Isabel and her kids, that Cody asked Brianna, can you not go to school? And he never asked Isabel that. But that he's saying it, and her daughter's going to have to hear him and watch this conversation on TV. And see it in context, which is actually even worse than just hearing it from her mom. Oh, it's so much worse. I want to point out a couple of things here. Thank you, Elise. Alisa, just subscribe to our channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed, can you just click the oh, fucking yeah, button. It, it really, we're trying to just get like 300 more subscribers. We're going to horror you. don't know how to do it you. like professionally. Just click yeah, the fucking just button. Fucking, right. Can you just click it? You don't have to even watch it anymore. Uh, no. Also, I just love that we have a listener uh, or a watcher named Beaker Face. They've made, the, <laughs> they've made their, their handle Beaker Face. So, Beaker Face, oh, you are amazing. our people. Oh, got a new subscriber. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, oh, Tia. You guys. Hold on here. Tia, as someone who had a Robin mom, oof, she's afraid to have her express her own needs. Yeah, that's true. She's under Cody's thumb. That's true. It's just Robin. I, I'm I'm bitch eating crackers. I'm beaker eating crackers with Robin. <laughs> what do you think she does now? How do you I'm think just she eats? Like it's just so like a flapping mouth, just like eating. Crackers oh like God! This. No, she she the has to eat Pringles, but like turn them upside down and just like filter them in this way. Because remember when they, they went to that um, when it was the sister wives diet woes, where they went to oh, the right. Chinese buffet. I can't buffet. Really... We'll talk soon. We'll be doing amazing. Bye. Sorry. And I know Jen left too. So bye, Jen. Um, yeah. uh, when they went to that Chinese buffet and Robin's like, <gasps> and Cody's like, I'm so sorry. And she was walking around going, mm. I guess I'll just get a mound of fucking lo mein. Lo mein. <laughs> and, and then she's eating it and she's like, mm. Yeah, she's like, mm, I don't really like this. I also mm. have a dessert plate, ladies. As Janelle yeah, and Mary got eating food like poisoning from lo mein last week, <laughs> that's the last thing you want to eat if you're a little like picky movie. about food. Yeah, she's such a dumb God. bitch. All right, all right, we are at uh, 1653, present club. That she was interested in seeing her friends. She wanted to see her friends. She was struggling that she couldn't see her friends. So there's a difference, and the difference is where Isabel is at, what Isabel wants. Um, Wait, she's like a logic puzzle. I have no idea what you just said. Like six feet apart in the backyard or something. It's I mean, true. That, that hasn't worked through the winter. I've been really glad I've been able to go in the house and visit them. Well, I can do that, but that's been a real inconvenience so far. It's still oh, not. Oh, being a <laughs> is inconvenient. 
Jody, that's such bullshit. You're never inconvenienced as a parent, right? I mean, I personally was never inconvenienced by COVID-19, but no, no, no. I mean, I really have to think about, I mean, I guess you don't do anything all day, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I guess it was Charlie's infusions and, you know, yeah. Like when my dad was like in hospice and like all that kind of stuff, like it might have been a minor inconvenience, but like not really. But this would be an inconvenience. If if Cody went to the backyard, it's kind of inconvenient for me. Inconvenience. God, I need to meet their producer. I mean, he has an excuse for everything. Absolutely everything. There's an excuse. But this isn't even an excuse. This is him being very truthful. It would, well, it's it would an inconvenience, inconvenience, though. Him being yeah. inconvenienced has been an excuse for his entire life. So is he a sociopath or is he just the world's most honest person? And maybe we should all strive to be like this. <laughs> this is what I mean. I mean, this is like a grab bag of DSM-5 diagnoses here. There's a insane. guy I follow on YouTube and I w- I feel like I should probably shout him out because now we're in the YouTube community. But um, somebody had, I think Amanda Record posted it on our Love to Hate TV group. Everyone come join us on Facebook. Of uh, this um, psychologist who he's kind of hot, he's bald, and he watches Sister Wife and he just basically every episode he just diagnoses Cody. He just talks about that. He's like, I'm not sure if he's a narcissist because he seems to have empathy and that he seems like to be able to have- help. Like for me personally to watch watching him be that. No, I, I, yes. I'll send you the link. He's great. I'll I'll shout it out of the next oh um, episode. I should have been prepared with that. Uh, we're at seventeen twenty three. I mean, all the time. But, but yeah, well, I get, here, here's the thing. We're doing that, uh, and I'm willing to do that. It's a bit of an inconvenience, and it's it's like I need her to just make her own choice, and then not be bitter about she anybody did. else having to react to that choice. You know, because you, well, so you have that choice not to Maybe react. Then. Yeah, like if it's sitting outside might be the best situation. Then it was snowing when we started this call. It's hard to not take it personally that he doesn't want to come over. So I'm like, it's your kid. The weather's getting better. It's spring. Go see her in the backyard. It was oh, whoa, 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 oh, that's God. what he meant. It's He's saying, spring? oh, it's snowing, guys. I can't go over there. It's snowing. Okay, Mary Jane said my dad would walk through fire to see me, especially considering that must be nice, Mary Jane. What's Cody, it like? <laughs> to have a dad, dad like would. He, he would. He did move me um, across the country, I guess. You know, considering the fact that he's already had truly, who was truly, no pun intended, near death. He's had Isabel, who was in spine surgery, which is a major invasive surgery. These are two children in particular that have been in possibly close to death scenarios that a little bit of cold in the springtime would hold you back is outrageous. Beaker face says he's so cold. He needs sleeveys. He, Oh yeah. We need sweet. By the way, my, my coyote pass. We got sweeties. Sweeties. Oh, gold. We're check out a run bubble shop. Um, I mean, this is crazy. You and I both live in somewhat I'm Chicago burbs. You're, calgary oh. which is like up there yeah like to the left or the right or the center whatever it's like Guess up what? there this, this is how i feel about that you're fine yeah, ex- exactly yeah. Uh, trust me if your kids really wanted to see you enough they'd be like yeah it's cold whatever we can be on the front porch open the front door have yeah. some i'm sure christine would be willing to pay a little bit of extra in her gas bill to have some of the heat escape. This is so stupid. Uh, the other day when I was watching the Emmys or whatever with my my mom and Ron, she she turns, she goes, she goes, oh, do you want me to close the window? Are you cold? And I just looked at her and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I? She's like, that was a really cold. dumb question. We got a cameo from producer Treasy. Oh, Latrice. Do you want to say hi? Oh, God. Say hi? Oh, God. Don't, don't. Oh, no. oh. Okay. Look, there she is. And she's I, friendly in person. I will give her that. She is friendly in person. Oh, she's swiping me. She's swiping oh, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just beat the she's shit out pissed. of you. She's pissed. All right. Um, okay, so I am she's at uh, up. 18 minutes exactly, and Janelle is pissed. And she's got a she's got she's, quite the farmer's yeah, tan. I have the same one anger. Oh, <laughs> oh, she got a little farmer's. sun on the cleave right there. A yeah. lot of sun right there, but they're not quite under there. Yeah. I understand this is important for, for Isabel, but truly, every time I go 
home Uh-oh. truly is really excited to see me. People have don't their what they do to he interact. They make episode, effort too. or they don't. And when it comes to smaller children, I want to make an effort. There's a bitterness that I have in what I feel like is unfair to me while trying to go through this process and do the best Mm -hmm. to make it fair for everybody else. And, you know, so there's more for me to consider here, and there always has been, than Christine and her needs. Teenage kids don't need parents quite like... um, you know, preteens do. And so the, oh, the fact that Truly and I have these long conversations, we talk about what she's doing and stuff like that, and she's Robin actually says, engaging me, that's still an important factor. Robin is such a nasty You know, I don't disagree with Cody that the younger whoa, kids Whoa, whoa, who the fuck Absolutely, is this? That's very important. Who's this bitch? I also believe. This is Bomber Jacket Mary, who? Jody. Haven't you heard? Uh, Maverick? There's this goose <laughs> coming in for... For a cameo here, <laughs> straight in from the also, uh, her hair is like celebrity this. centers. Her hair is like this. Side. What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, it, I mean, it looks good on her. She, she, yeah, she, she does the like big sweep over thing. My hair girl always like tries to get me to do it, but when you're just like sitting there normally, if you like do it really quick, it's cute. But when you're sitting there like Mary, you're like, you can settle the part. Like I'm just gonna do this. What's like, going on here? Like, has Mary left because her? F- it looks hot. Look at this luscious locks you got going on. Well, here's the thing. When I got home from my uh, harrowing experience last night, I put my hair in a bunch of little braids to sleep in after washing it because I wanted like a, a like a yeah. Like, the volume is great. But then I did too little. The braids were too tiny. So then I just looked like a frizz ball. So then I tried to curl it, and that's why I look like Hermione oh. right now. See if I do that, so my that's natural trying curl to goes into of... place, and then I look like George Washington. I just get like really tight. <laughs> I tried to sleep in foam rollers once, and it, uh, it wasn't up, good. Actually. It wasn't good at all. It's going up, actually, it's going up. Like, what's going on with Mary's confessionals here? Is she never around during the season? And they're no, she, and I, think she, I don't, I don't think she's there. involved at all. I think this is all. Yes, there's my girl. There's my bebe. This is how you know me. There she is. Yeah. This is now, how you know that's me. That's the, the girl I know coming alive. Okay. All right. Come alive. <laughs> Given very up. strongly that all of his children need him. And I sometimes wonder if he realizes that. Hi, Julie. I don't want to criticize Cody, but I just I I I disagree. Okay. I think I think that kids need their parents for the rest of their lives. And I know. Uh, yeah, yes, we, know. we do. We, but like, <laughs> not in the way that you see it. Robin. Yeah. Yeah. We know you think kids need their parents because you're, you're actually smothering your child. Yeah. Now I've been known in moments like where I just want to cuddle. I definitely smother my kids and, and I bribe them into. Wishies? I for sure will be like, I will bring down your dirty water cups if you let me squeeze your butt. I think that's fair. I mean, they're only 12 and 13. I mean, I'm 40 years like, old and my mom brought me... me a plant yesterday for no reason. Just, I yeah, but like, am I going to keep them home? And now listen, we did virtual for a year. What was that? 20 to 21, whatever that was. Um, and, and my son actually has health issues. Yeah. Like he actual health actually issues. had health issues. So I completely get it, whatever you want to do. But Robin is absolutely, I, I mean, what's the word? And In, infantilizing. Oh, Infant- there we go. See, I like when we're comfortable like this, where we can just like touch yeah, I just, up. I need, I, I can need to cover up these cheeks, babe. Because you're looking at me and you, like I am. No, I'm looking at myself. I'm turning I'm, bright we're red. always looking at ourselves. Um, she's disabling her kids. Bottom line, she's disabling her. Yes. Thank you. She's grooming her children to absolutely Joy need her. <laughs> uh, and uh, Dayton, as Peyton told us, is he's, I don't know, gotten the hell out of there. I think he probably feels bad. Like, he's living off the grid. I really think yeah. he's living like in the woods, like mountain. He has a full beard. Good for him. He's like, this is just beer. wild. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, but what she's about to say, all right, I'm sorry, guys, but... Look at this picture right, of Robin I have here. Cody. 
And I kind of disagree with like kids need you more when they're younger than when they're teenagers. They need you the exact same in different ways. Yeah. She just can't. And if anything, it's going to damage them more. All of a sudden they become teenagers when they're starting to develop relationships with the same or opposite sex and you're learning attraction and how you should be treated. And all of a sudden he's bye-bye and he's out of there. Mary Jane Jarman just said, I've heard Dayton is reconnecting with his dad. What what dad? I think I thought that they were always kind of together. I did hear that Dayton and I, if someone said on his LinkedIn, he doesn't even go by Dayton. He hasn't for a while. He goes by David. It's good for him. This is wild. Like, I'm just trying to think my own kids' ages. Oh, sorry. Some of our older kids, oh, you're fine. they need their dad. Okay. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Talk about the time zone, and I can hear like, okay. I can hear the babies and everything, so I need to get going. But <laughs> This is Janelle's actual, Zoom call actual version. Actual babies. <laughs> actual this is Janelle's children. Zoom call version of, ooh, it's, I feel like rain is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. She doesn't like it. She's like, she's actually yeah. bye-bye. She bailed. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Actual toddlers that actually actually need to wash my hands of this conversation. Like everybody's just going to do what they're going to do. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do. She said I'm. All right, let's wrap this up. It's good seeing everybody. Safe travels, ladies. All right, see ya. Safe travels, ladies. I have more unanswered questions. Nothing gets a wife hotter than that. Than I did at the beginning of the conversation. And really, is this all going to be Isabel's decision? whether she sees her dad or her friends. That seems like a very hard decision for a 17-year-old kid. Well, who's been there for her more? Her friends. We're at commercial, and I want to address this. Nicole Oho said, is Dayton's dad the one who was removed from the photo back to the future? So that's an interesting <laughs> yes. question, because I actually have a photo, the photo prepped here. And um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This isn't oh, actually... Who, he wasn't where removed was from the lifted photo. from? Yeah, where This is from? actually... A picture of Cody, Christine, and then their what? three kids. And what? they lifted Christine and her three kids out of it. Put in these ones. Because this is yeah. this yeah. is now a moment that didn't exist, but no, it does exist, Cody. AKA Michael Scott and Jan. Oh, no, Carol. I'm sorry, Carol. 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 Carol's just the front of her. On a ski trip. <laughs> also. The picture of the three individual kids individually wouldn't have been my first choice. I'm just saying. Like Aurora. mm, Like she looks like she's potty training and she might have had an accident. I mean, just not the best. uh, Not the best photos to pick there. God. Okay. So we're in the commercial break here. We got a little breather. My mom has been in the hospital. Oh, now we're going to get into some some depressing stuff. She'd been having a heart attack for a few days. (gasps) She's coding and they're working on her, and I have five hours to get there. What, of course, I guess trigger alert for everyone. I've got to run up there. Cody better fucking come, right? I don't know if he did or not, but I feel like he did because he went with janelle i hope so if he didn't yeah but janelle's mom was also so his stepmom on his my step- way up to my mom's house she got sick about a week ago that her mom lived at that she's Lizzie. been having a heart attack for a few days yes, well, she's coding and they're working on her and i have five hours to get there oh. it's gonna take me five hours to drive there Oh, God, Mom has stressful. been in the hospital for two days. They've been working on her and taking care of her. Yeah, now it's not looking good. So I'm, I've got to run up there. Oh, poor man. It's not something I'm ready for. Oh. She's only 76. So I, I got in the car. Um... I called Cody and he had known that she wasn't doing well. He had known that she was in the hospital. So I told him I was on my way up there. Bonnie was my first mother-in-law. I think I fell in love with her first. You know, she's just the sweetest lady. It's amazing to see your family together. You're a united family. Yes, you have your problems. Look at his Lord Farquaad hair there. My God. It's kind of like curled under. Year, like know, a page boy haircut. She was yeah. always just warm to me. So um, I had a great experience with having her as a mother-in-law. 
Oh, so it's about him now. Yeah. It really touches him. Yeah. It was about an hour after I was on my way that I got the call. Oh. I just got a call from my sister. I lost my mom. Oh, God. She's driving Jesus. I don't even know. I don't even know how to do this. This is just so unexpected and so quick. It just happened so fast. This, this is not supposed to happen this way. My mom was the most giving person that I ever knew. She was a, an amazing person. My mom was my dad's first wife. You know, like any plural marriage, things are not easy, you know. <laughs> Over the years, a couple of the wives had left, you know, and there was separations in our family, and hmm. that was really hard for my mom. She wanted to grow old with her sister wives, and oh. she didn't have that. Oh, boy. See, now we're getting to some of the deep stuff. Of community. How about you? I've been pretty good, actually. I'm so happy yeah, school. So muscly. Now. You know, our culture very much. Hunter is such a good boy. Matriarchs. I know, I love Because him. really, I truly, him. the women who live in our faith become very strong, very independent. Oh, Nicole, I'm sorry. I had a lot of affection for her. I'm brokenhearted about Mont Bonnie's passing. She was such a blessing to our lives. And she was such a, a blessing. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. Just give everyone a yeah. breather. We're at 2413. It looks like he's at Lizzie's Heritage in here and he's dressed for up. sure. So it looks like he went. Good. And my whole body just kind of relaxed for a second. Because if he yeah. had gone, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know the level of rage I would have. But it looks like he's at Lizzie's. Yeah. Okay, up. I just got a troll text from my own son quoting me going, Hunter is such a good boy. All right, Googie, that's enough. Googie, come in and say hi. Tell him to come in yeah, and say Googie. hi to the live. Don't make me uh, make you come in here. He's <laughs> probably upstairs in his boxer briefs and t-shirt playing a video game. Um, mm, playing I, a video game. <laughs> although I think Cody should have driven there with her. Of course. Like you can't she had suck to get it up this... enough to go. She's by yeah, herself. We, we got a bunch messages in the chat during that of people who've lost their parents so sorry i don't know yeah what, what's gonna be like but even um, when you know that it's near it's still yeah. when it hits you it's uh, it's terrible there, there, somebody up there said it. she was in the car when it happened and she, by the grace of god she wasn't driving like just and mary's alone on the road just at, honestly the tlc camera oh my computer is like going uh the tlc cameras might have been the thing that kind of saved her from having a complete meltdown because at least she's kind of talking to someone, someone to talk to yeah, yeah. all right yeah cody's gonna make it all about him for sure 24 13 i'm pressing play please mm. god be at lizzie's his life not just as a mother but as a person who was was sort of there for her. and um so it's a sad sad occasion monty always oh, treated no. me like we knew each other forever <laughs> Every time I was around her, it was a sweet experience. Hopefully that's Robin with her kids. She oh. always made me feel welcome. Because Robin <laughs> pretended to cry, but no tears. My mom and Bonnie knew each other well. They were friends. After my mom left mm -hmm. our church, people didn't know what to do with her. I didn't know what to do with her. Oh, Christine, I want to hug her. She just always pushed me to reconcile with my mom. Always. Oh. I'm going to pause because Christine has a little, has an earring up here. <gasps> on like the high part of her ear. Rebel, she, rebel. I bet she got that like after the, after she left. She got that when she moved to Salt Lake City. That was the, she was like, McKelsey, should I just, should I just do it? Guys, I just got a wave of excitement over me thinking about Christine getting like a sleeve. Oh, like, like a phoenix Snakes rising a from the ashes. Yeah, yeah. Because that's Robin's thing is that she's a phoenix. So if Christine oh. got that, would be way worse. Thank you, oh. pe people who keep subscribing. Um, KM, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Keep keep it coming. Just click it. 
just click it. It's all you have to do. You don't have to click the bell or anything. I don't care. Yeah, please. Yeah, we need to make that money. What is going oh. on with my fucking computer? How's the view? I don't know. I don't know either, I babe. Bonnie no, it's just Bonnie. To the core. Like, I am so sad and I just don't even know what to do. And like, oh, I, don't even, I don't even know. She's wearing a little Like, Rotop. Mariah was here all day. Mariah and Audrey had come down and they hung out all day. It was really good to have them here. And, oh. So there's been a lot of tears going on here today. I don't oh, know Mary. what to do. Like at this point, I don't know what the rest of my life is going to look like. I don't know about the B and B, you know. Because her mom is probably the only person she can know really talk to. Have to. Figure out because she's just always been there. Yeah, I'm going to miss her a lot. Nicole says Christine should get a she If Mackenzie wanted Cody that here, would be a that would be 100% great with him. That would be amazing. But the fact that he's not here, Thank that's you, something Olivia, that uh, Mackenzie and Tony have decided on, and that's nothing to do with me. Oh, God. So are we going to be getting to the There's laboring? Oh, I watched it. Cody and Christine they right They released now, the whole clip. I saw it on, I think, um, you know? kick, kickstand on TikTok. Olivia Coleman. Oh, Olivia Coleman. <laughs> Olivia Coleman. <laughs> she was exactly like her. It's wild. No, we see the whole thing. And wait, like wait, gross wait. to St. George. Yeah, wait, pause this for a second. Yeah. We're at 26, like gross to St. George before. Why is St. Right. George gross? Does anyone know? Like anyone out there that Robin's is... family is from St. George? <gasps> oh. <laughs> that, that's true. Oh, that oh wait, true. hold on. Uh what's his name? Tony lives in St. George. So that's Tony. Um yeah, my, that hit by a stick. Okay, got it. <laughs> Trust Does he say me. that, or is that just a thing that you? No, he with? actually says. Because remember, they have like the lifelike pinatas. No. Oh, I remember. He goes, the Stand back. You might get hit with a stick. Now, the way I was introduced to Sister Wives is that somebody requested it for TRP, this the yeah. polygamous wedding, uh -huh. the wedding, Let and we did it in like ice. I can't do it. And I, I don't even want to re-listen to that episode because I'm so ignorant. Because I was like, who's this guy? Cody? We like him, right? I'm like, he seems likable. Like, I remember just having all the wrong takes on everyone. And, <laughs> like, I never want to re-listen to that. So I can't wait until we I can redeem myself when we finally get to that episode. On our Patreon, yeah. if you guys want to check out our Patreon, we are That's recapping right. all the old episodes, like, week by week. It'll come out tomorrow. There, Thank you, Jody. Yeah. Great. Oh, sorry. That's total request. Oh, that's total I mean, request. Like, if I were yeah, good at it, I would have clicked okay. this one. Yeah, there but... we go. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we uh, this isn't updated. We're doing Sister Wives Season 4 episode. Oh, no, it is. You're right. You're right. Yeah. We just started season four. That's right. Because Robin has just had baby Solomon. Oh, wait, hold on. You guys are you probably guys like, hear what, like what Robin episode is that? Yeah, I, if I play this, it'll it's actually called welcome. Sister's Special Delivery. Sister's Special. Oh, oh, mine right here. Is this where you oh. go? Uh, okay, I'm, I mean, there's another 10 seconds, but I'm sure everyone is taking a little washroom break to comment <laughs> right now. They're like, everyone's like, are we going to get to a day, a week where they don't play that clip? Because I think it's been <laughs> solid for the past eight weeks in a row, probably. Um, <laughs> unsubscribe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we see unsubscribe, unsubscribe. No, guys, click subscribe. Um, we're at Tony McKelty's apartment. We're about to see what a Makes fucking sense, bitch okay. cunt sister wife she is to Robin. Wait till you see what she does to Robin. Well, she Tony. never wanted to make Robin part of the family, right? No, and she's so mean to her. She never tried to facilitate okay. a relationship. She's so bitter, too. Ooh, you're doing so good. It's April 3rd. McKelty's cool. finally in labor now. She's a couple days late. And she's really in labor. Do you want to call Robin? Yeah, let her know we can zoom her. 
Huh, Robin could fair. be at the birth in person just because of COVID. And it was still so important for McKelty to have Robin there. And so I arranged to have Robin just come in on a conference call the whole time because then she can really see what's happening. Oh, uh, hey, Robin. God, Christine is a better yeah, woman than I'm I. Labor. Oh, yeah. Could you could you call in your like husband's mistress, really, is what it is, mistress, right? that he left you for? Or think about perhaps like an in-law or something like that, that maybe like you don't 100% get along with. And to have them there the entire time during your own like very special yours, moment yes, with your child, your, your first biological grandchild, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to share that moment with yes. Robin. Yeah, she was the first. I know it's weird because... Because now they're pregnant with twins. Um, <laughs> right, also, exactly. Robin's about to call McKelty her baby. And, I mean, I would I slap don't that, like that fucking babe. beaker face right off her face. Also, can Tony, like... Put his hair up in a ponytail like Shower us? before? <laughs> shower would be great, too. He lingers in the bed. Like, pull your hair. Can we make this somewhat hygienic? Pull your hair back. How does she lay with him? I don't get it. He must have a really big dick, babe. I don't, I don't know. Think he does, would, Chris, would McKelty know? Would McKelty well, she hasn't well, changed I guess she hormones with other boys before. Hormones. I feel like she probably gave the guy a handsy at least. Well, I hope she did. I hope, I hope she, she did. did too. Yeah. Or a blowy. Yeah. No, no, no. Does Don't Tony have a good I'm personality? So <laughs> that is so cute. You That's cute, question. Julie. <laughs> that is so cute that you think he might have He's a really funny. <laughs> he likes he likes tacos. I mean, he's a guy that you date because you like to eat. We'll see tacos. Oh, that well, you're so Shit, tiny. Our brains I mean, so I tiny. Yeah, I mean, that's true. You're tiny. I'm totally fine with, like, I told you a rule from the get-go was if you date anyone, you have to be able to fit in their jeans. Yeah. And like, Tony you should not be the one carrying them out if, God forbid, the house were on fire. Oh, no. You don't want to have to be the one that is like, let me pick you up and take you to safety. Also, I think that Tony probably hates Cody and, like, talks a bunch of shit and, like, trolls the shit out of him. So I like Tony for that reason. Well, that's I why wear... I think he went to the wedding dress thing. Not to get too sidetracked, but that's why I think he went to McKelty's when McKelty was trying on dresses and all the wives were like, wait, what? Why is Tony here? I think he was trolling Robin. Oh, because Robin, during that whole thing, Robin thought Robin... that they had this little, like, back and forth about, like, McKelty's hair and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he wanted and she, it down, and Robin yeah, she thought, thought it they be were up. like being like, kind nope. of flirty, and he's like, "No, I hate you." you <laughs> exactly. You're like you're a dumb bitch. Okay, we're at uh, twenty seven oh five. Uh, Heidi, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna have my dad at the birth because honestly, it just kind of seems weird for Gross. my well, male he, he dad to be there way, so at me giving fine. birth with God, Tony. Tony. My <laughs> legs open and my amniotic Ooh, fluid Tony. going everywhere. Mm -hmm. I just kind of felt that was a little uncomfortable. Um, and then as far as Ooh. having only Tony's my face. mom, Christine, and my mom, Robin, I just, I'm a lot closer to those two, and I'm a lot more bonded th to those two than I am to Janelle or Mary. I'm just, I'm not close to them, and I wanted to make sure that my birth was very much about, selfishly, I want my birth to be about me. I do oh, recommend no. either finishing your Hold shower. Hold on, pause a second right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I am actually a huge fan of a nude lip. And I know you wouldn't know that because my entire face is flushed right now because I haven't had alcohol in like a week. You don't have makeup on at your disposal at all times? My cheeks are already no, flushed. No, again. I don't. But I am completely flushed right now. But I'm a huge fan of a nude lip until I just saw that. And it looked like she took concealer and just like rubbed it in. Oh, yeah. No, I think really she, yeah, matte I think she and really blessed, dry. I think she just like rubbed the whole thing. What? what? How do I say this? Um... Because what do we do about McKelty? What, what what is something like wrong with her? Is she? I actually I actually really like McKelty. I know people hate her. I I relate to McKelty because I am the McKelty of my family. But you don't act like that. There, there's like I kind of do. Like I'm kind of weird. That's like very, that. very no. It's very like performancey or very like she's. I don't know. It's just very. Uh, she tries to sound very deep in everything she's that an she's actress. saying. 
Okay. All right. Okay. However, before you jump on the Zoom. Yeah. And then, um, like, we're recording it. So that's why you need to have clothes on. I mean, that's not the only reason. But, yeah. Clothes on? No, that's legit the only reason. <laughs> because I think she said she was... Robin and McKelty have a very, very special bond. When Robin came into the family, she immediately just embraced McKelty. And I'll always, always love and respect Robin. Let me let me break that down. It's because all the McKelty was the weird kid, and none of the none of the kids liked her. So Robin's yeah. like, "Well, let me go after McKelty because she's kind of weird." So like, that's my best bet to get. She it. doesn't realize I'm using her for babysitting. She thinks I actually yeah. care about her. Yeah, she tried with Maddie at first. Uh -huh. And Maddie was like clearly trolling. And then I was like, fuck time. this. Aurora's kind yeah. of a bitchy brat. Sorry. Yeah. And Aspen <laughs> and, the, uh, and Leon Aurora were like, out there. I, I, we don't have time for you. Uh, yeah. That's definitely what this is. For her relationship with McKelty. <laughs> oh, here we go. I moved on with Robin. With I, I, and Robin if, I, if I died tomorrow and just never. I don't. I don't ever want to see that clip again. Frame they did, by they frame. They showed the clip of the Robin first time we see like Robin. This. Oh, oh. Durbin! <laughs> <laughs> and her stupid white eyelet top. <laughs> and then oh. they hug. And that's where you see in the background her dry erase calendar. That's yeah. completely. Cody. Oh, Cody. she's she's got a complete Free empty calendar. Cody. Cody comes. Cody's here. Cody's here. And I think it's like dentist appointment, like Wednesday. Did she the answer the phone wearing only a towel? Why are they so persistent about her getting dressed? Because oh she needs. Does that mean like draw your eyebrows in? The kids for school <laughs> around the house. So I lived with her for a few months, and that's why I'm still so close to Robin and her kids, is because of just that special time that just us had together. Sweet. Okay, we love you. Love you too. Oh my God, I mean, I assume Tony. Robin knows that mine and Cody's relationship is over <laughs> just because Cody's moved all of his stuff. You know, it was in the garage, but it's not there anymore. I don't know how much she knows, Cody's though. Boxes. We haven't talked with you. Robin. don't know how much Robin knows. Um, also, mm. Beaker Face, uh, this is a question that was coming up a lot on the chat and also on Facebook. Um, about how it wasn't McKelsey 13, they just shipped her off to go live with Robin. I believe that they this was after Robin at least moved to Lehigh. I don't think Christine's letting McKelty go and move. Yeah, but they weren't engaged South yet. Utah. They weren't engaged or married yet. Yeah, but the timeline on that is different than I think they really reenacted a lot of stuff that first season. There's no way she was moving to Utah, like southern Utah, to live with Robin. I, I yeah, really think that this was in meant that second house. The second you, house that Janelle paid for, you mean? Yeah, the second one. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Down yeah, the street from them in the Lehigh house. And mm. I think that's that's what that meant. Adults about everything yet. So I don't know what Robin knows. I have no idea. But it doesn't even matter. We're just, we're here for McKelty right now. And that's what we're going to focus on. It's just about McKelty today. Isn't that your first time? Yes. Yeah. You're nervous. Yeah. Hey, Tony, yeah, you want to yeah. get up and it's help hard. your wife, you fucking scary, lazy piece of first. shit? He's just um, sitting Tony on the couch for another room. Oh, yeah, about the whole home birth. He doesn't know what he's supposed to do. I love in I the home he's birth, more he's sitting McKelty. on the bed and McKelty's I completely get it shift. because yeah. it's a paradigm shift, you know? And, you know, years ago when I was younger, uh, my mom, who had all of her children in the hospital. Handsome woman. She's a handsome woman. I was just going to pause it to say that she's a handsome woman. God. We she was. That's the only way you could describe we it. We talked about Advocate woman. for these home birth type of thing. And then Logan was born in the hospital. But then the other moms, Christine and, and Mary, so both Janelle. wanted to have theirs at home. She's like, Five of my up. kids were I'm born at home and truly was born in the hospital. And they were all great experiences. So I had half and half, half at home and half in the hospital. Honestly, I would take home birth hands down over my hospital experiences. Like my recovery, everything was just so much better at home. I had Mariah at home and That's the Mary, midwife that screen. I had Jesus. was That's as my wife's team. And Ugh. they were great. So I have only had a home birth every single one of my uh deliveries uh have been at home they're all with midwife no, they but have. um aurora was born into a pool of water it was pretty intense it was pretty wild 
Of course. Like, she had to come yes, in with some drama. Oh, Mikkel- McKelty really has no shame, yeah, right? Sure. Whoa. Your, <laughs> She's like, yeah, just put the camera there. It's fine. It's a rough yes, uh, view. Rough angle. Who, wait, wait, wait. Pause this. Who, Who else is in that bed? bed? Okay. You know what? If you want to have a home birth, do whatever the hell you want to do. on the bed? There are people lounging all over the what I would think you would want, like, a, a somewhat sterile environment sterile, for baby to come yeah. into. Tony so, and his mom fully are laying rolling all over this bed. Bare feet. Not that I would want shoes either. Hair all over the place. All over the pillows and the blankies. And we got a Whether Sharon she's giving birth Stone or not. view of McKelty right now. <laughs> all she has to do is yes. cross her legs and we're seeing that veg. Yeah. Would you ever want your mother-in-law on your bed in any circumstance? No, no. No. But there's Robin. Get out. Bye-bye. Wait, I mean, it's like a fruit punch bowl? Robin laughing? That's what my little captions say right now. Do I want to know what the fruit oh, punch I bowl? Have captions on. Oh, God. I think I'm feeling sick. Okay, go ahead. He's talking about he's talking about stools, and if I can, like, why is she slippery? Why does she really smells? Because she's got poop on her. I'm like, oh. The midwife told me that, uh, yeah, sometimes they slip. You know, I'm not a nurse. She's a nurse. No. She's a pro. And if a pro can drop a baby, Tony can absolutely drop a baby by accident, right? So, uh, yeah, that that makes me nervous. Any strategies to non drop? No. Baby? <laughs> right. Okay, Tony just like what kind of a role did he just do into that yeah. bag? Oh, That's what I look like, babe. I mean, Tony's concerned. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know because he's watching rolling him. Out of the bed. I think he's beginning to realize there's nothing he can do to protect McKelty from the pain that she's going to have during labor. That's Nothing. sweet of Christine to think that's what I he's think he's just beginning to realize how intense it's going to be. No, but you know what? I kind of like that Tony was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, kind of being an asshole, but being like, well, she might poop on herself. So, I mean, there's that. I feel like Mitch and Aspen, like Mitch wouldn't be like, like Mitch would faint in the room. I don't like Mitch at all, by the way. I think, I think, think way too Mitch would be like, your mom can be here, but your dad is toxic. He needs to get out. Yeah, but I, I just mean that uh, I think... McKelty and Tony are kind like do have a really good they're relationship. Kooky, yeah, they are. They're weird together. They're kind of gross and yeah. weird together. Yeah. Whereas like Mitch in the room would be like super serious. Uh, so I this was this would yeah. be the energy I would want in the room is a yeah. Tony energy. I don't want him rolling all over my bed with his mom. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know about him and his mom doing. He did like some sort of like GI Joe roll into the bed. Why? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, Go he's ahead. kind. Of, he's okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if her sitting on a micro slate chair is the right move. I mean, I assume whatever is com- most comfortable there. Not your nipples. This is a good hairstyle to have, too. By if McKelsey wanted Cody here, um, even on like the screen, if she wanted him here, I would be 100% great with him being here. Good thing Robin's whatever there. Whatever she needs really help to have out. happen is what I'll make happen. But the fact that he's not here, that's something that uh, McKelty and yeah, Tony have like decided cute. on. And that's nothing to do with me. I, I honestly Good. think McKelty and Tony just wanted to get ahead of it. And we're like, we don't want you to yeah. come, Dad. Don't worry. Because that's easier than the rejection of I won't be there. Yeah. Right? And also, remember, Cody basically like pushed Caleb out of the way and caught Mash and little baby Axel. It's, like, it's going to be slippery, babe. It's going to be slippery, <sighs> baby. It's like he's right there. He's right there, honey. Oh, ew, get out of your daughter's vagina. I would never make that call. It's tough letting your body take over. Yeah. Because obviously my body wants to give me pain. I mean, yes, I know there's some strange things happening between Cody and Christine right now. God, Robin is always I just brown, know dude. that Christine wants yeah. to be here in person. Present for McKelty and so do I. And she has a herpes. Why is she has a Rob, herpes. That's Robin Christine rocking. Like she's out. giving birth. It's not my business. But I'm just supposed to stay out of it. You know? Okay. Sure. 
22 hours into labor. Good. Good. Yeah. Whoa. Because he was in labor all day and no baby. It's so depressing for her. She's yeah. tired. She's just so tired. And it's just hard. But nope, no baby yet. Yeah, thanks. They're really? going oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. She is McKelty is working so hard right now. Elbow. But Tony is working uh, equally hard. Every time she goes into a contraction, he is pushing and rubbing her oh, back and she can't do a contraction without him <laughs> so did a bunch of water gush oh, out or just a pop um, i heard some water spill through the bowl <gasps> this is amazing oh she's got a pure water to break thing. god so she's she's seated <laughs> i think she's backwards on the toilet she's backwards on the toilet with a puke bowl and Tony's just like, Hey, we've all been there before. Ass. Am I right? No, <laughs> this is what Yikes. I wanted to do when I had that bad low main a week ago. Um, oh, is this what it's like? This is what it looks like. I have had four inductions. Three of them, my epidural took and one of them didn't. And I still labored in the bed. I just like, wasn't, but I had Dave and then I had like the two gay dads. So it's not like I wanted to right. be like, Hey, let me just like, you know, Let maneuver about here. Um, but you got the epidural that long. and one didn't take. Yeah, that was the one time that it didn't take. So like I right. felt everything, but I labor really, really quickly. So like 22 hours, I can't imagine going through this. Ray says, but yeah, as I a mean, woman, you just feel like, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. As a woman who's never had a child, this is horrifying. Yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. Not, agree. not every birth is like this. I mean, some are, that's but if you have awesome. no medication, yeah. That's a really good thing. Water breaking is exactly what you want because they really can move down. So her Tell water broke and on the toilet thing. and yeah. It's just progressing out. Yes. Yes. Good for him. He's not making it about himself, which is what Cody would have done. Yeah. Oh, I've done this before. I've done this before. This is starting to hurt my healthy, I can tell. As a mom, you just want to go take, I'll take it, I'll take it, you know. Oh, and yeah, you're not her mom. Even gotten to the really, you're not really hard mom. stuff. I mean, we're just in the middle, but it's just kind of Whoa, this is a lot. So, that sounds, honey. Yes. Yes. Let's get her out. I love that she's like, the this is a home birth, mom. no pain, like medication, anything like that. She wants to do it just completely natural. It's really hard watching your daughter in pain. It's really hard. Watching a labor is really tough. But she's doing such a good job. She's so amazing. And she wanted this home birth so bad. But there's not much I can do. It's all on her, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that Kelsey chose to Have not to, to just go drop. back to the I guess you can dry your hair when you're And with everything, everything you got. You can, can safely. Yeah. Get it out. That cord was wrapped around her three or four times. Yeah, the cord is wrapped around my neck. Maybe that's why I'm like this. <laughs> Maybe that explains everything. <laughs> okay, her moaning sounds like labor. Let's compare that to Robin's yes. earlier. Yes. Yes. Oh, We're at the point where she just went through heavy transition, major transition, and it was fast. No, I can't even hold it back. This is very exciting. First time you're about an eight. <laughs> what? Like she's about an eight. You're about an eight. <laughs> I mean, okay, like, wait, pause right there. Do you want to see what eight centimeters is? Here's my visual aid. Look at what I got, Amanda. You brought that for this? Or is yeah. it, did that just happen to be there? No, no, I brought it for this. Although now so I you realize I thought ahead? this was by one centimeters. No, but I knew she was going to be giving birth, and I know there's okay. Show me centimeters, centimeters and shit. I also love that the that the doc the nurses just have to put their like go. Bloop. Well, yeah, they're checking you all the time. Your their hand just put your hand there. in someone's vagina. It's like weird. Okay, show me eight centimeters. Well, now I thought this had centimeters, and I grabbed the wrong one. This is inches. God damn, how many centimeters are in an inch, Amanda? You're um, by coastal. So. Everyone's screaming at us, babe. <laughs> because we're so funny. 
Is there like two? Oh, you're muted. I'm unmuting your mic. Oh, you're muted. Your mic is not connected, babe. It says your mic is not connected. <laughs> Hello? There you, you are. Fucking, you made me go check that shit, and then my, my mic oh, un, no. un, undid. And then oh, I, no. Everything I'm happened. Stop fighting in front of the kids. I'm sorry. It's my fault, babe. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> centimeters to inches. How many centimeters? Eight centimeters. Well, she's currently at eight. Three, three point, three point one five inches. Okay. So, uh, okay. Oh, here, right. I'm going to go like this. So roughly there. It's not that much, I don't think. I <laughs> knew you were going to say that. That's not that big. It's like a big dick. So your, your hole is like there. Yeah. I'm sure I've been there before. <laughs> you could do that any day. I could take it. Almost to 10. Okay. What? Get you. It's as good, baby. She's coming so soon. So there's a couple oh, of numbers in birth you look for. One is like effaced and one is like di dilated. So you have to be at a 10. Like the baby's head is usually 10 centimeters. You move from like an eight to a 10 incredibly fast. Mikkel's is really letting them. Oh, yeah, so yeah she's going there. <laughs> it's hard to, <laughs> McKelty's my baby. And I know that she, she is, is not Christine's your fucking baby. baby. No, she's she not. Baby. No, no. It's hard to see your baby in pain. <laughs> okay, it's hard to see her in pain. <laughs> If any of them were to say Aurora, Brianna, or their babies, come on now. Don't do it. That's what mom. Just it's crazy. I, we're just we're holding her legs, and there's Avalon's head. It's right there. It's so incredible. Bravo, we can see like this much of her. Look at look how mean Christine's being to Robin. So mean. She was great to Janelle's kids. Great. Great. Robin. I just want to show Robin. Just so she knows as well, and she knows exactly what encouragement at what point that we're saint. at, so she knows what to say and how to help. You need to stop for a second. Wait for your no, no, the baby's heart no. goes a little low, so I need her to push. get her out. Okay, Get her out. Get the her midwife out. has been constantly monitoring Avalon's heartbeat, uh, and Avalon's heartbeat just dropped. Uh, oh, she's her head's out. Her head's out. There's a cord there, so I need you to push hard. Okay. That cord was wrapped around Avalon, like three or four times. Ready? Ready? Deep breath, breath and push. Push hard, 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 hard. Good. Again, she's been pushing. Is everyone pushing right now? Maybe we keep on getting yo-yo uh, back. Yeah, I, I, I well, actually, I was clenching my right now. Again, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm. Keep going, keep going. Oh, come on. It's stuck in your ass. Mm. It's scary. Hearing that you lose a baby's heartbeat, that was, it's terrifying. Oh. Again, McKelty, look at me. Take a deep breath and push with everything you got. Everything. Do it for your baby. Get it out. Come on. Come on, Mom. Yes. Go. Her shoulders are out. Her shoulders coming she's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming. She's coming. I feel for Tony in this moment. That's so scary and confusing. Oh, Robin. Of course, Christine. What does she do? She turns to Robin. She turns to Robin and turns the screen so that Robin gets an optimal shot of the day. First thing she does. So Alan God, this baby looks so much like Tony. Is now born. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, oh my gosh, she's scums. beautiful. Oh, what a little They don't call the miracle of life for nothing. <laughs> <sighs> nothing more magical. <laughs> that moment. Tony said she fit inside you. <laughs> so proud of them. Dude, I like Tony now. Such a Tony is. I'm sorry you couldn't be here, but honestly, I'm so happy you were here for the whole time over Zoom. First thing, I've somebody's sitting there with ice cream right next to her. I've been there, but what I got to be somebody's ready with ice cream. Just so special. Someone get Even that frozen diaper right on her crotch. Kid, Let's go. She's mine. That's a no, blessing that I no, get no. because of plural marriage, and I love that. You know, I really, really love that. I can't wait to see that baby in person. <laughs> Once COVID-19 protocols are looked at. 
What? Is that it? From a 10 to birth. She pushed for 10 minutes, Robin. 10. Some people push for hours, love. The actual pushing part was intense and fast. And just, I don't remember being that intense ever. Gosh. It's just a force to be reckoned with. So Maddie's birth with Axel, she was in labor for like, I don't know, 60 some odd hours. And it really was so phenomenally yeah, no, different than Maddie's birth Maddie's with Evie. Birth, and worry. McKelty's birth <laughs> is just as different. But as far as being like a biological mom, watching McKelty in pain Whoa, that's a was brave, harder man. for me than watching Maddie in pain. <laughs> Tony's like but trying to compete Avalon with uh, McKelty's hair there. The same. I don't know if the biological mom... Aww. Well, because you actually uh, are their here. mom, per se. Yeah. She's adorable. She has so much oh, hair. Oh, that's crazy. Right? Yeah. did amazing. She powered through it. She endured. It's pretty special. Oh. Yeah. It's like really them. one of the most humbling things to watch in this life is um, to watch your kids become parents. It's, oh. it's so instantaneous, and that baby's going to have the best parents. Oh. I'm just excited for the rest of their adventure it's a very together. Paige doesn't want to have kids, so Amanda, it's up to you. You gotta hurry up and have one. Me? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have to have sex first, so that's not happening. Oh, no. Next time, oh, on sister one. Okay. We're gonna, we're about to play. Okay, so we're done with the episode. Finally. Okay. <sighs> It was an it was emotional an episode. That was I'm I I can't believe I actually like Tony in that moment. Okay, and I like McKelty too. And yeah. I like Chris. Yeah, they're like you said, they're just odd, but they're they're weird together. Yeah, they're it's fine. They're I quirky. Like Did you see what a bitch Christine was to Robin though? I mean, what a fucking cunt. Such a bitch. Such a bitch. I would never forgive is, someone if they she is not like good that. to her sister wives at no. all. She never tried to facilitate so, any relationship. She's mean. Mean. I mean, I'm sure Robin would have definitely done the same thing for Christine when oh, like, yeah, Aurora or sure. Brianna when they're giving birth. She's like when Mary sure asked that. to take Saul to Utah with her. Yeah. It's not a good Re- time, Cody. Right. Remember when um, when Robin was pregnant with Solomon and they got that amazing, huge expensive lazy boy chair to go in the nursery with a brand new crib and the, the wives are invited, they're invited over anytime they want she envisions them coming just at any time they want three o'clock in the morning come on in uh, because he's the family's baby the family are you ready mm-hmm. for the next time on sister wives because i mean I'm i already told you so imagining, you know imagining, okay, we okay. are at forty-one forty-seven. here we go <gasps> I am telling my sister well, that, wives her, that I'm leaving Cody. Yeah, I'm oh, so I the... worried. This is what you're going to talk about? Yeah. I'm not happy right now. I'm not yeah. happy with this situation. I mean, how do we unravel something that's been together for this long? There isn't an unraveling. It's not that easy. Come on, you guys. Can't we all just get our heads out of our butts? What about Truly? Okay, I think Truly's going to be fine. She'll miss everybody, of course, and it's going to be hard and taking her from Cody. Well, we'll come you back. can't take her from me. Because we'll have to have a shared custody. It'll have to be 50-50. Well, hell, he could have had 50-50 time with us the whole time we lived here. <gasps> Queen! She said it! She said it! 50-50. Well, gee, I wonder I mean, that why just, he It would obviously didn't happen. 50, we know 50. they live in Utah. Hmm, why would he want 50-50, though? So we know what's at the time. What? For financial reasons? So that uh, she'd have yeah. to pay him? Well, that she makes he wouldn't have to pay her him? barely anything. Oh, what a freaking piece well, of work. She makes a shit ton of money. Because I just re-listened on, before everything went south with my Uber driving yesterday, I was listening to, uh, this was when I was picking up from Quiznos, which yes, apparently still exists in Canada. Mm. And... Cody and Carly had done a deep dive into the family's financial situation. And she figured out that like Christine and Mary between the two of them, I think, make like 400 grand a year on LuLaRoe. Wow. So they're the ones making that. I think that's why Cody's like, I can't let go of Christine. Oh, for sure. 
she's got she makes money that's how that's how she was that's why she was able to be like fuck coyote pass here yep. ten dollars i'm yeah. out i'm just gonna quick claim deed it and oh. uh, oh, look at that <laughs> i'm proud of that one babe that's a real big doll i prefer so bananas. good amanda do you have the other one You're so good yeah i already showed it before Oh, I, oh, I don't know others. if I had the other one, but listen, no, coming a- up real quickly, we're just going to say what's coming up. We have Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on We Love to Hate TV. Again, we're Wrap starting season, season four. Up. We have Forensic Files, going to be another good one. These crime reenactments are always hilarious on total request. And you assigned me Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, the new season. season have you watched yet? One episode one. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, and then in the meantime, I, I did one real quick in honor of Halloween season, Amanda. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> I don't like that, babe. I don't like that story. Babe. Do you like this one better? Here. <laughs> <So> you- <laughs> Mine are not as, as intricate as yours. You know, I, kinda, do really quick. I, I think I'm trying to overcompensate because I, I was like, this is hard. Jody's been doing this this whole time. Oh, so I've been really trying to make it like geed. Oh my um, gosh. Yours are good. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Well, no, I'm trying to overcompensate. Well, any questions for you guys? We can stay on another few minutes if anyone yeah. has anything they want to say. Yeah. And if anything? you missed the first part of the episode, we did on a little pre-party that's going to be up on this week's episode of We Love to Hate Everything. I, mean, I promise it's really worth it. Went through it, it last so night. worth Yikes. it. Yikes. And uh, I'm sorry. I look like I probably have like one of those little like pink filter things on my face. Um, oh, you know what? I should upload that. So one of our longtime listeners, Sharita. Yes, of course. Hello, Say Sharita. what she, she podcast. A long time ago, she said that I look like Lacey from Okay, Love I got to say I don't know why you would send that to me because I can't lie cuz you really do look like her in that picture. Yes, yeah, so I did. Like you look identical. <laughs> so I did a um a what you call it? Oh, I'm trying to pull it up. I'll, okay, I'll pull it up in a second here. I use like some pillow face filter something yeah, or other face. and I I put them side by side and I uh, it's like the very small eyes, big cheek. I'm going to find it here. I did send it to you. Okay. I'm going to go look. I for have it. it. Oh, look at you. What do you I guys think of this Adam Levine look. stuff? Now that I'm a huge Adam Levine head, but I feel so bad for his wife. Bahati. Oh, yeah, of course. Bahati. Oh, and that's that not first like girl. Oh, okay. I'll look for it. That first girl. True. The one who's like, I had no idea it was bad to sleep with married men because I was brand new to L.A. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, that could be real rough. <laughs> Not knowing what to do. Hmm. What else is going on? Oh, OK. All right. Uh, Ooh, we just um, went it, uh, oh, yeah. No, sorry. Because <laughs> Now I'm reading the chat. All right. Well, let's just let's wrap. Let's you guys wrap. are so fun. You guys, you, you guys, guys are, are awesome. the best. Everyone All right, you know where to go. Please subscribe. Please. Yeah, please, please subscribe. I mean, you don't have to come back and watch us. You you do not. If you hated us, that's fine. Just, yeah. just click it. You guys and are um, now you guys got to see that awesome intro from Jody. Now you get to She's see this it. bust ass shit that I made. But I worked I don't really like hard this on babe. it. And, uh, and uh, it's you know, it's it's my brand. So I guess. Is that it? Are we all adults? Yeah. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Walter. <laughs> <laughs>Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.